<laughs> you unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. I gotta get the fuck out of there. And my reason for this, my reason is for one that you may share, possibly. I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bullshit. We don't want no, 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 we don't want no bullshit around us. No bullshit around us. No bullshit around us. No bullshit around us. Drink the drink. I don't want the drink. He doesn't want the drink. He does. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. You don't. I do. You don't. I do. You don't. I haven't got time for this Mickey Mouse bullshit. Caution, you're about to enter the no bullshit zone. Factor begins right now. We're live, right? Right now? I don't know if my wife has turned the thing off. Did you turn the thing off on the website, babe? Or is it like just rambling on? Okay. <clears throat> so check it out. Folks, yeah, I'm the unknown factor. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, we're gonna do something a little motherfucking different tonight. Yeah, cause fuck it, why not? You know, I like to get on some weird topics, folks. If y'all fuckers listen, y'all fuckers know that, right? I can't help myself. I just, I just can't, man. It's hard, right? We might have somebody randomly ding in here in a minute too. I don't give a fuck, right? All right, but we're going to do some shit. But hey, before we get into that, man, I just got to, I got to like bribe my own dick a little, for real, right? Because like, man, I got some shit coming up, right? I mean, uh, I should have pulled up all these dates before I even said shit, right? Thank God for Facebook, folks, because it's like click, and you like click a couple times, and then my dogs start barking, because my uh, that kiddo's here, yeah, and that's what's up, right? Yeah, you know. We got some shit coming up, though. Tonight, man, we're going to do that no bullshit zone. Yeah, that's the debut, right? And then check it out tomorrow, man. We got mind cell up on this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know there's all kinds of shit going on, man. Dave King about to have that birthday bash, right? I think we might have him on this I'm show. Ready. That's, hey, a little bit later. And I got someone coming in and ready for something, man. So, you know what? Well, you know what I'm ready I know, for. I know what she's ready for. You want to, you want to, we're live on the air right now, Santa. Huh, Santa Cat? You want to spit that? Yeah. Hey, no, you got to get up on the mic. No. No, you can't. Yeah, no, be right. Never. Uh, I won't. Never mind, man. She had a sweet yeah, yeah. Donald Trump. No, kiddo, because I can't do it like you. I could do it, kiddo, but it would be different. Yeah, do it like that. <sighs> no, kiddo, because Donald Trump doesn't sound like this. You know what I'm saying? Donald Trump's like, I don't know, whatever. Do it, kiddo. No. Do it. Do it. No. Do it, please. No. Please. There you go. Hey, wait, can I have Hillary? Can I have Hillary? I'm Hillary Clinton. Raise, 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 raise. Here you go. Oh, I love you, kiddo. Love you. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, she knows both them motherfuckers is full of shit. We ain't gonna get to that tonight. We'll get to that shit at a later point in time, for real. But like I said, man, I got some shit coming up. Personally, if you want to catch me. Oh, what? Somebody hey. come, like, called in. Who I got? What's Gucci, man? Mm. It's Mikey. I'm live on the air, Mikey. I was just trying. Can you, like, Mikey. Mikey's going to have to hold on a second. I'll tell whoever else calls that the same goddamn thing, Mikey. So don't feel bad. It's no okay. problem. Yeah. Because I do that. Like I said, I got some shit coming up, dude. Some shows. All right, that's what I was just trying to let everybody know. I got Make Cancer a Rap too, right? That's a benefit show, right? Going to have that out in Thunder Hills. Wait, man, I think I fucked that up, right? No, it's Syracuse, Indiana. Yeah, it is Thunder Hills is the uh, where it's going to be out at, man. It's going to have some wrestling, going to have a bunch of sick-ass artists, myself included, right? And then I'm going to be uh, fucking... Shit, dog, look, I can't even remember all my wife, like, dude, pff, I love my manager, my wife injure, trademark Whitney Payton, 2016, thank you for that, Whitney, because that's my wife injure, for real, I realize it more and more and more every fucking day, yeah, um, wait, 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 wait. you're just reading the chat, what, me, yeah, no, motherfucker, I will smack you, what are you talking about, just reading the chat, no, 
dog. Fucking, I was saying I got a show coming up, and I was checking the dates and shit, because I got three shows coming up, because I was saying, motherfucking, that's some shit that happened back in the day on an interview. If y'all want to check that interview where Whitney actually stated that shit, it's on the site. It's the uh, little Emerson, Whitney, it's her and Supreme, that's some dope shit. But no, dude, I was trying to go through the shows I got coming up where I'm performing. We got another caller, though, so who is it? We do. Who's that? Um, well, this is President Obama. Oh, well, you can fuck off. Oh, I think it's a soundboard. Someone's soundboarding us right now? Nah, this is Kane, bro. Yeah. Oh, what up? Yeah. Man, I'm trying to... Look, we'll get to you in a second, Kane. For real. <laughs> Hold up. I swear I'm going to get this. So I got to make a cancer rap, right? Motherfucking, that shit's coming up. Oh, fuck. See, I'm really sorry in a state, folks. Yeah. Um, God damn it. Dog, I hate and love the internet. I just got to say that real quick for everyone. Oh, okay. That's uh, 24th, right, of this month. And then I've got a show coming up at Carl's Tavern, man, on uh, October 8th. It's going to be the Overtime Tour. Yeah, hopefully we're going to get Overtime up on this bitch. But right now, on this motherfucker. Oh, wait, real quick. I'm, before I do that, I fucked up. I'm also going to be opening for motherfucking uh, King Gordy. Yeah. Oh, I look forward to opening for King Gordy. That's a different note altogether, though. You know what I'm saying? On to some different shit, man, because I got a couple motherfuckers in the house. I know we're going to have a couple more here in a while because, man... Like I said, we doing something different tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Right, right now though, I got DJ Mikey and King Cortez with me. Yeah, how you gentlemen doing? Well, I was gonna let the artist go first, but I'll go first because there was an awkward silence there. Well, unknown factor, I'm really doing fine, but I would like to say a few things just before we go any further, there, big guy. I'm going back. <laughs> Hello. Did someone just, oh, I think someone else. Boudini. Okay. Hold on one second. We got Mike going into some shit, and then we'll be right with you, dog. Yeah, I'm going back to Florida, man, and I'm going to take care of what I got to take care of, like I told you. Number one, and most importantly, number two, <clears throat> all I'm going to do is oh, make videos. Oh, Mikey, number three. Mikey, Mikey, that's a different show because that's too long of a conversation and this shit's gonna get deep. I got the assholes by nature up in this bitch. I got King Cortez, dude. Like, like, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you off, dude, but this is like about to get crazy. And, and, and that's bullshit. Mikey, you know that's some bullshit and you just need to go down there and beat the shit out of that motherfucker and that needs to be a done deal. And I'm sorry if that motherfucker listening is, is offended with me, but dude, if you're fucking with somebody's family like that, that's what you deserve. That's why they're particular yeah, but whatever, we can get into that. It don't matter, right? Yeah, real quick though, Kane. What are you doing? Fucking with this chick trick for this mixtape cover and shit. Oh. Oh, see that. Yeah, I don't know how soon. people do this shit. This is why I just stopped to pay people to do it for me. Dude, that's why I got my Who the fuck is driving? I am. Ah, Boudini. Yeah. Wait, 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 man. You got Jester there with you? No, no, no. Jester ain't here with me. Oh, okay. Well, you see that? I just need... What? Hey... Is, where's the half pint? You want me to call? You want me to get half pint in here? Uh, oh here, dude. I can get half pint in here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I just gotta find it. What the fuck? Oh god, dude. This is oh ha ha ha. I've got too many messages, y'all, for real. Because like I said, we're trying to do something a little bit different on the station tonight. You know what I'm saying? All you, you gotta do is look for the short number. <laughs> That's terrible, uh, Houdini. Dang. Dial, right. dial, dial the short number, bro. Dial the short number. Hey, so real quick, right? I, I went into with the fucking shows I got coming up. You know what I'm saying? So let's just ask, like, hey, you got any shows coming up or anything? Anything planned? Uh, nothing planned here soon other than this move, man. Everything out west is pretty much just going to be a come and go, like, as it comes, really. Gotta wait till I get out there and get, um... Like, situated and shit. Aye, aye. And Boudini. Man, what you got going on? 
see, we got a uh, we got a show on Monday out in Kenosha at Corn Sports Bar. Uh, we're doing kind of a fundraiser thing for the oil pipeline in uh, North Dakota. Yeah. And then uh, on October first, I got a battle. And then oh shoot, the twenty fourth we're going to Indiana. <laughs> 24th, we're going to Indiana. Yeah, and then uh, and then October 30th, man, we're having uh, the the Halloween uh bash, man. So yeah. yeah. I look forward to the 24th, Boudini. Yeah. Meeting you all. That's gonna be fucking dope, dude. For real. Um, I didn't yeah. even know that was happening until she was like, "Yeah, I'm going to going to Indiana to meet up with a uh, unknown factor," and I was like, "Shit." Why you tell me? She's like, well, I'm telling you now. I was like, well, shit, count me in. Hell yeah. Hey, hey real quick. That show you're talking about, that's the Sacred Stone Camp Benefit Concert, right? You got all kinds of motherfuckers yeah. in there. I mean, it's cheap to get in. You know what I'm saying? It's a damn good fucking, I mean, it's some good shit as far as with the Dakota Pipeline and what's going on there. I mean, if you're out in that area, get to that fucking show. For real, because that's like I, it's important yeah. shit, and it's some shit that ain't being talked about. And it was actually, it's funny. That's a hell of a leading. So I appreciate that, Boudini, because that was actually one of the topics that I wanted to discuss tonight. Was the Dakota Pipeline? You know what I'm saying? And yeah. just That whole situation with it. So since you're throwing the benefit, dog, let's just start. Like, what's your opinion of everything with that? Well, I think it's just fucked up like nobody's talking about it. Like, it's kind of like hidden, you know, because, uh, you know, the government shut off the water and all that stuff, you know, that they're doing to the to the reservation out there, man. And, uh, like, you're not hearing about it. You know, you're not, nobody's, like, I've talked to other people about it. They're like, man, where, the, where is this at? Like, I haven't heard about this. Like, shit, you know, it's, it's the government, man. They're not going to put it out there that they're, you know, messing people over. So, you know, uh... Jester's uh, mom is part of the Red Cross, and uh, so, you know, when we talked to her about it, you know, she said that she's going to try to get them out there, too, uh, to put a fundraiser, man, that, uh, you know, it's just fucked up that, you know, it's being hidden, man, and, and, and keeping under the radar and off the news and stuff like that, man. So, yeah, it's my opinion, man. Yeah, look, so, I see your point in that, dude, and I'll tell you. Uh, I think it's fucked up because if you look at it, you look at that situation and then you can do look at the situation in Flint as far as how it was covered and how, you know what I'm saying? It was really, they tried to brush it to the side. I mean, I think, yeah, like, I, so I don't know what's going to happen in the long run because, I mean, that situation still isn't fixed and it's not being talked to about the level that it should be. And I have kind of not even brought it up in that long but that's a fuck situation you know so is this and i feel like there's just more and more stacking the top one another and then they're trying to cover them all up and I don't, right. why the fuck do you think you can do that though this is the day and age of social fucking media and i mean let's let's be honest look look kane there's a picture of your dick somewhere on the internet isn't there i know that yeah, there is See, exactly. I knew with Kane. Yeah, I knew with Kane there would be. I just knew it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> the way I shit is. <laughs> Fuck, Mikey probably does too. I probably do too, to be real um, and honest. More than likely. I mean, the internet is a vast variety of activities, unknown factor. So, uh, I... J- Gee whiz! Uh, I really wouldn't count that up. Uh, that uh, yeah, count that possibility out. Shit, fucked up. Anyway, no fucks given. Radio. Dot com. What's going on, everybody? I'm pre- I'm pretty I'm pretty zoned right now. Nobody you knows. Know? Hey, so, hey, Mikey, what do you know of this whole situation with the Dakota pipeline? Wait, with what? The Dakota oil pipeline. That. Never mind. Hey, Kane, what do you know about the Dakota oil pipeline? <laughs> yeah, I uh, was really good with that. My bad. I was still like, dude, like, that shit to me, like, it just goes to show me even more that just people don't give a fuck. Like, the rich in this country don't care, not a goddamn bit, for the lower level people 
quote unquote have quotation marks going lower level people, even though those people are so much more valuable to the earth. <laughs> but I don't know, dude. I just don't. I don't feel like they should even be allowed to do some shit like that. Like all the people that they have losing their homes and all the war, like just like dude said, it's just like flip, dude. I feel like it is really like some type of fucking mass plot to just slowly kill off the lower level society. Well, hey, fucker, I'm the one that said it was like Flint. Oh, okay. But hey, man, so many voices sometimes it's like I start to... Just don't pay attention to the ones in your head for a while, Kane. You'll be okay, all right? Not to mention to get even deeper into it, I feel like it's going to just... It's a, I feel like it's a government drug-running operation, honestly. I know that might sound a tad bit crazy, but... A government... Yeah. It, it could be. Fuck that. Because I remember, dude, I remember reading something about, like, the fucking, uh, like, the CIA in the 70s having, like, the secret tunnels underneath the White House and using them, like, just using the most obvious and blatant places to where you have to have government access to to ship, like, really, especially weapons type shit. But I was reading that, like, because the, I was, I don't know, it was probably just some crazy ass fucking dude on YouTube I was watching while I was tripping one night. But I was watching about the pipeline, and fucking, they were saying that there was, like, a, like, walking space next to it, underground. And to me, that just sounds wild, dude. Like, to have fucking, like, to be able to, like, basically, like, how Chapo broke out. Ah, man, it's, it's terrible that it doesn't surprise me at this point. Like, anything our government does doesn't surprise me. You know, you know what I'm and that's how I'd be feeling, dude. Like, I feel like some shit you should hear and just be like, no, that's, like, fucking impossible. Or why would they do that? Or, you know what I mean? Like, oh, no, people wouldn't do that. But now it's nowadays, I, whatever you tell me, I'm just pretty much like, yeah, it could probably happen. God. Boudini? Thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a fucked up situation, man, and, uh, I don't know, you know, you, you expect us as being assholes and stuff to, like, not give a fuck, but when, you know, one of the guys in the budget who brought it up, man, because he's an Indian, you know, it's, it's it kind of like, uh, do us all, it's like a frenzy to try to get food and clothes and stuff on the people we know, you know, and, uh, we don't know about the, the little fundraising show, it just popped up out of nowhere, and now we got, you know, like, I think 12 artists, 12, like, different acts that are performing. We got We Are One. They just opened for Tech Nine two times in a row, and uh, they opened it for Bone Thugs and Harmony when they come out this way. So, yeah, man, we got some uh, we got some stuff, man, to kind of like, bring awareness to it. See, and here's the thing. Look, you say the whole we're supposed to be assholes, right? And yeah, assholes by nature, right? Fuck yeah, and I'm down with that shit. It's on fucking, you can hear that shit on No Fucks Given and other places we'll get into later. Or go listen to his drop on the site. I don't give a fuck. Um, but, you know, and I'm the I know factor, and I'm a dick, and then fucking King Cortez, he ain't no motherfucking gentleman, I know that shit for a fact, go listen to them, and, you know, but at the same time, it's a difference between being a fucking, you know, an asshole, or like, you're just a dick in general, and fuck you, uh, as opposed to just not giving a fuck about everything, you know, as far as like the whole fucking world. Like, I'm just, like, I'm just not going to be nice to you to be nice to you because I'm sorry. I'm just not going to, like, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of a dick, right? I'll be, like, I'll say hi and what's up. But, I mean, look, a Boudini, I know you were the same fucking way because I've seen it evident on many a thing, right? If, if you get yeah. with me, then fuck you, right? Flat out. Right. Hey. <laughs> but yep. I ain't just going to, like, if I see a dude homeless... And I got a motherfucking, uh, I got a motherfucking, like, sandwich and I'm full. Like, here, here, dude, go fucking eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. Where, when you're talking about a rich motherfucker, they don't give a shit. They'll walk right over that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like you see these YouTube videos with, uh, like, people walking over homeless or, like, you know, just situations that are fucked and walking by them. Because that's how society is to a certain degree. We're assholes because yeah. we see that shit. We're like, no, that's fucked up, right? For real. Yeah. Well, you know, when Wendigo, you know, when Wendigo was talking to us about it, you know, I got the feeling when he was telling us, he was like, you know, 
basically telling y'all because it's bothering me, but, you know, I know y'all don't give a fuck. Like, that was his attitude while he was talking. Like, he was explaining it to express his, like, you know, disgust of what was happening. And then, yeah. you know, all of a sudden, you know, hey, you know, someone else. Okay. Oh, I know, Mikey. Shut up. We'll get to it. Okay. I knew the show tonight was going to be insane. That's the point, right? No bullshit. But yeah, dude, I see what, like, what Winnego was saying, dude. That was fucking on point. But it was weird because the perspective he was explaining it at, you could kind of hear that. And um, you can hear that on the Blacklist Crew interview, if memory serves. Right, Boudini? That was with, yeah, yeah, okay. And that's up. So you can go to the site and hear that. It's actually at the very tail end of the interview. But, uh, Kane, man, right? What do you think of that perspective as far as someone of a native descent? Wicked Whitey is in the house real quick, but we'll get to you in a minute, dog. It's just crazy. Kane. What's up? My bad. I fucking, I muted the phone for a second because I was talking. Okay, just, just, dude, like, don't get lost, cause you'll, cause I'll bring up a question. Be like, no, 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 I, don't just like a, I don't know what he's talking was, about, cause I wasn't like paying attention. Second. Yeah, um, but no, dude, as far as just from a Native American perspective, you know what I'm saying? And looking at that situation, like he said, we have Wendigo on here, and he was explaining it, like, he was explaining the situation, but he didn't expect us to give a fuck, because you know, it, it definitely doesn't affect me as far as. On a local capacity, I mean, it will eventually globally, but that's not, nobody, most people don't look at shit like that. So what's your opinion of him? Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Honestly, dude, like, what's crazy to me is, like, I think it goes even, like, it goes further back, just, like, the fact that the, like, because I think I am of Native descent, like, I'm Blackfeet in uh, Miami, and I'm also of Black descent. And so it's funny, like, to me to see all, like, say, you see all these memes, right, that's, like, when it's saying, like, because 9-11 was a fucked up event, I understand that, but, like, so is everything that's in the past, and everybody's like, oh, forget this, but don't forget this, and I'm just, I'm looking at shit like that, and it's still pushed off as this pedestal now, it's where, like, the millennials and people are, like, the uh, Generation X and shit, like, uh, generation Y, like, we look at all that old shit that happened, and it's been fed to us that it was a light topic, or that it was something that needed to be done, like, in the history books, they kind of put, like, a, a shadowing over it to make it seem like it was a necessity, or that it didn't necessarily, you know what I mean, like, it needed to be done, like, the Indians had to be slaughtered and killed, so I think that's why it has such a light retrospect nowadays, because people in my generation that are 20 years old are just like, oh, well, you know, our whole life we've kind of learned that, like, if Americans want to fuck Indians, then it's just fuck Indians, so it's not a huge deal, but, I mean, I still have, like, family members that are, like, heavily, like, native descent, you know what I mean, like, still fucking, like, do the chanting and shit like that, and, I mean, I, my, like, I've seen people cry, do videos of it, like, the people, those people are just hurting, like, and I don't, I don't care what religion or not religion or what race anybody is, if you don't see another human being hurting when you look at that, there's just something deeply wrong with these people. So, like, these higher up people, they can just, like, oh, I don't care about these motherfuckers, this land is land, I'm about to make billions of dollars. You couldn't spend fucking the money they're making off of shit like this in a lifetime. I don't understand the point of wanting that much fucking money. I mean, it's a $3.8 billion project, first off. What what the fuck could I buy for $3.8 billion? You know what I mean? Like, what do these people even have, like, use for this much money for? But they'd rather deteriorate and just, com- like, completely continue to crumble the entire race for money. That's what I've never understood about it. Oh, oh, I'll tell you right now, real quick. Everyone in this room, everyone listening, and pretty much everyone on this planet would never want me to have three and a half billion dollars because I would. Yeah. What would you do with it? I assume... Nah, man, look, look, that's a game changer. The things yeah. you do. And it's terrible because you'd have to buy people. But, yo, I want to know. Like I said, man, we got Wicked Whitey up in this bitch, too. I told y'all we're just trying to get all kinds of different perspectives on all kinds of shit because that's the point. You know, we've been on this oil pipeline bit, dog. And you said you was going to come in and stir up some shit. How the fuck are you going to stir up anything with that? And it better not involve a Sigler Giggler. You got me? You copy, Chevy? Get the hell out of here. 
out of here. This is not safe to be on here. Why do you get the hell out of here? What? No, fuck that. This hey. is my radio. I'll fucking stay where I goddamn well want. Who the fuck is that? You tell them I said suck my balls and I'm the unknown factor. They want my address? <laughs> Hello. No rebuttal, bro. Who's, what's going on? I've heard no rebuttal so far. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that thing. Yeah, I've heard that, like, um, like, and just to go to show that, like, president thinks shit, did you see that, like, the pre- like Obama's fucking, like, um, representatives, like, his fucking um, administration basically said that, that the company needed to stop the fucking continuance of the pipeline, and they pretty much just said no. Yeah, they said no. Oh, <laughs> uh, like, I, don't, I, uh, that's, I just read about that earlier, and I'm like, how the fuck are you just going to tell the president no? Like, but that don't just show you he's a puppet, like. Hey, well, <laughs> half pint. Yo. What's up? Hey, hey. What up, what up, what up? I'm just saying, I don't know too much about the whole situation, really, but I just learned from uh, Wendigo about it, really, and then I haven't done any research, and I never really watched TV, but i just been going, like, I heard about the Obama thing, you know, that they told him to stop, and they wouldn't, you know, and, you know, I got, like, a lot of, you know, Mexicans come from natives anyway and my best friend is Potawatomi she's 100% Potawatomi Indian but she you know I just you know I, I think that it's something that needs attention because nobody and not enough people know about it and uh, I, don't, I think it's it's more serious like you said people don't t- uh, uh, who was saying who I don't I forgot who was saying that people ain't taking it as serious as, as it is it's, they just kind of if you got money, basically, that's what it is. You can do whatever the hell you want. And I need to, you know, watch more of it on TV. And I just, like I said, I don't know that much about what's going on. I just heard it from Wendigo. And anybody that asked me to, you know, do something for a cause and briefly told me what was going on. And I was like, yeah, I'm down with that, you know. But I know that my uh, my best friend, she's, She's down. She she's down. She's all into that. Like you know, cause she's she's Indian, so she's she, she's all into the uh to that. I just like I said, I need to. I was just listening because I was being informed. It's very informing to me. Well, let's see. I'm curious then. Let's find out, Whitey. What up? What do you know on the subject? Man, I know that fucking. Pretty much, man, it's the same shit that's been going on forever, dude. Like, these fucking government motherfuckers just do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> right. How long has this shit been going on? Like, it's been going on for a long time they've been doing this? Or what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, right. Give hold me on. one thing. Hold on, give me one second, right? What? Yo, fact. Yo, factor. Yeah. Right before yeah. I sound like a complete asshole or a complete stupid ass. That's a chick, right? Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, ma'am. I just wanted to make sure. I'm not gonna lie. It was it threw me off too because I didn't know what you know about a girl in the interview. So when I heard her voice at first, I was like, "What's going on right now?" And then, like, they said her name, I recognized it from the tag, and I was like, oh, okay, now I understand. And that's why Blacklist calls me unknown. It makes sense. So, fair enough, you know. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. Someone just left. Oh, well, either that or someone just joined the call. I don't know. Did someone just call in? Yeah, someone just left. All right, someone just left. Whatever. How, why the fuck would someone just leave? I bet it was Boudini, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Oh. It better not been half pint, man. Half yeah. pint. Oh, man, was it half pint? Man, look. Oh, that's it. Yeah, God damn it, look. Look, Kane, 
Mikey, y'all fucking scared half pine off. What the fuck? She's like, uh, oh, no, I, was like I didn't and know there was going to be a girl like, in the interview. Wait, <laughs> man, Whitey, what the fuck? Like, I man, we trying to have a deep, No, we have trying to have a deep conversation on some serious shit because it is some serious shit, folks, for real. Like, y'all, anybody listening needs to go look into this way more. Do your own research because it's important shit. But fucking, and then y'all have to go, like, go get sexual and fucked up with half height and run her off and shit and like uh, half height and shit, man. We didn't get sexual at all. <laughs> Sexual at all, bro. What are you talking about? Hey, hold up. Hey, I ain't, I ain't going nowhere. Just hold up. Give me a second. I... Oh, shit. Hold up. Give me a second. Boudin's running off. Big cop. So, Mikey. Nah, I'm not running off. I'm back here. Hold on. Give me one second. Oh, I know, dog. I know. Uh, so Mikey though, while Boudini does what Boudini does, which who knows, man, like that motherfucker makes moves like Houdini, but that's another reason that I won't get into. That's why they call him Boudini, you know, but motherfucking Mikey, based on what you've heard here about this oil pipeline, what's your initial thoughts on it, dog? Oh, to be honest with you, um, to be completely honest, and that's all I am here on no fucks given radio, no fucks given radio dot. Check it out. Your one-stop shop to give absolutely no fucks. Right? Anyway, my point is, is, um, you know, uh, uh, where I'm at on Long Island, we actually have a bunch of burial grounds. There's actually a burial ground right in this guy's front yard, and his house is extremely haunted. Uh, most of Most of Long Island was... All Indian land and swamp land and everything. It's all hey, houses now. Hey, I know Most fact of the houses here are haunted. What? Yo, dog. I know fact. You know what I mean? I, uh, so, uh, and this is Long Island has... Uh, hey, hold on, Mikey. Just, Mikey, hold on a sec. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right. Hey, you're all... She got cut off, man. Your, your system oh, cut her off. I'm here. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, back. Yeah. Oh, check it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought... Hey, keep talking. Okay. Like the, nah, I'll, Everybody I know she ain't leave on purpose. She got more yeah. balls than a man, yeah. though. Shit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, she all right, cut right. off and other people, everybody started texting and moving. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, oh I, you know, I thought that you I'm sorry, I was I being an ass. Yeah, I'm sorry I got two motherfuckers being assholes to you, Pint. But let's let this asshole continue. We'll get to the other asshole and the rest of the assholes <laughs> in the room later. Because God, oh, a room full of assholes, right? But Mikey, I you say the haunted people? Yeah. That didn't sound right. A room full of assholes. Mm. Oh, boy. Mm. Mikey. Yeah, go ahead, bro. No, motherfucker. I told you to go ahead. What are you telling me? Yeah, you said you had a question. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said fucking go ahead. With okay, the all right. Talking to you okay, all right. All calm, calm down, Calm down. Ah. Calm down. No. Calm down. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue with what I'm saying because it's actually interesting, all right? Oh. <laughs> 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 Fucking bastard, Gucci. All right, Gucci. Now, here's Gucci. the thing. Yeah, Twerk. yeah. Anyway, my point is, is um, uh, most of Long Island, um, like I said, this was mostly Indian ground, and um, you know, uh, most of Canada, most of you know the Northeast and stuff like that. So in the Pilgrims. Right? Pilgrims, whoever the fucks, right, came over here. <laughs> and they started to pretty much take over. The reason why they got the name Indians is because Christopher Columbus believed that he was in India. Hey, look, when he saw these people. Quick, no, and they were Native no, Americans. Uh, uh, hold on. Hold on. All right, if go ahead. Listening, if listening to this show doesn't know that, look. I'm sorry. What I'm saying, bro. No, no, I didn't no, no, no. fucking know that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's why we're listening, because so we can learn. I don't even know what the fuck y'all talking about. That's my interesting, po- though. Fuck. My point is, is I'll when they came mind. over here, they had no idea how to survive <laughs> those winters. And oh, Native no. Americans helped them. And... You know, uh, I I honestly believe that there's like no karma for them besides casinos. You know what I mean? And they have you know their reservations. They have stuff like that. 
But you have to understand that they were robbed of thousands and thousands and thousands of acres beyond acres of land, right, that not only belonged to them, but their ancestors are buried on. If anyone touched a fucking graveyard that had whoever in it, right, whether it's military people or your grandma or someone else's grandma, it doesn't matter. You're not going to let them touch that shit. Imagine how insulted those people feel. Imagine, uh, it, it, and they're still being insulted, and okay. that's proof. Here's it doesn't oh, matter oh, what a room of white people, quick, black people, no, no, no. Indian quick, people, any people. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Listen, no, 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 this no, no, is the way it is. Don't it's tell me that. to hold on on my show. I'll hang the fuck up. Oh, uh, I don't, oh, oh I can't. never let me no. talk uh, back. You're fine. Uh, Go ahead. Hold it's America. It's America. Yeah, but no. It's America for you. They do whatever the fuck they want. Look, think about it. All right. How long we have been alive as a species. All right. Pretty much every building is built on a body. Now, I'm not saying you should go and make it a point, especially to run a goddamn oil pipeline through one, when there are so many other alternative <laughs> sources for energy. That's retarded. But at the same time, at a certain point, buildings are going to be built on corpses because, you know, you can only put corpses so many places and buildings so many places and so much room. And, you know, it becomes a situation to where you either cremate everybody or that's going to fucking happen. Now, I understand, especially something so recent, I think, like, I really think you should make be able to make it to where, I mean, there's at least five, a good 500 years before you're putting a building on a burial site, I would think, you know, but again, it goes back to the fact that just no one gives a fuck. Um, so, no, right. Mikey, you're giving a goddamn history lesson. I want to know Wicked Whitey, right? For real, what do you think of yeah. that, dog? I mean, am I... Oh, I didn't even finish what I, guess what I wanted to say, bro. Huh? I didn't even finish what I wanted to say, bro. Goddamn, how long is it, you long-winded motherfucker? <laughs> I, I was... Wish... from me. <laughs> Before you made me stop talking, bro, I was about to say this is the last thing I want to say. I could keep going if you want me to, you know that, but this was legit the last thing I'm going to say. Here's, here's, here's the real reality of it is there are Indian burial grounds, right, legit ones, in my town right now, in the town in New York, I'm in right now, right? I, I know exactly where it is. I can go there, I can take a picture, I can send it to you, whatever the fuck. But here's my point, is it doesn't matter how many people you get together. If they say, oh, this, this will be good for the town of this, or for this, or for whatever, you know, it doesn't matter what all the taxpayers think. It doesn't matter what all the individuals think. It's what they think. And what you have to understand, bro, is it doesn't matter if it's a if it's a group of white people, a group of black people, a group of Hispanic people, whatever the fucks, right, Chinese, it doesn't matter. You get them all in a room, they don't give a fuck about the Native Americans. So unless you get a group of Native Americans, right, a strong group of Native Americans, it's going to happen. And those people are disappearing. That's what, I'm, that's what I was going to say. No, that's why I did. Hold on, can I, Move on. Hold on. Hold on. Can I say something? Can I, say yeah, something man? I know this is this is a fact, man. If you go on any Indian reservation, because I have family that they live on Indian reservations, right? If you go on any Indian reservation, you're gonna find that they got a tobacco. You know, they have a, a big tobacco, you know, place. They have a big alcohol place and a big casino. Like every place, like if the government just steals, like here, yeah, we're gonna give you a bunch of alcohol. It will give you a casino. You can go gamble all your money away, and y'all will be happy. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's why I feel like it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like that's 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 all the government can give. You know, Native Americans. And I'm not no Native American. I'm not like preaching like you know, uh, give Native Americans land and all this other shit. But at the same time, it's like you know, there's still people. You know, I don't care about color and nothing like that. But you know. Just the fact that they think they feel like if they get them drunk and give them something that they can gamble their money on, you know, that they're going to be satisfied. Yeah. Compensate. Yeah. Start, start for taking your land, your like whole country, and turning it all and killing all y'all off. But here's some beer and, uh, here you can go. <laughs> right, right. So, right. So, See, yeah, so, and I agree with the point, the point that uh, Mikey made, too, as far as, you know, we've, I mean, we've essentially committed yeah. genocide. On the on that uh, mm -hmm. to a certain degree, I mean, yeah, they kill like whole people. tribes of people off, yeah, trick sure them into yeah. befriending them, and they saved they saved their lives. You know, if it wouldn't have been for the Native Americans, they would have died that first winter. Oh, yeah, man. 
So, you know what I'm saying? And and, and they gave them blankets with small pox and, yeah. and, and people died horrible ass deaths and shit. But yeah, that... I don't know. That, that, it is crazy how uh, shit happens like that. Like, I don't know. They just do what they want. It's, that's why we gotta, you know, as people, we have to unite. It ain't about color. It's it's about uniting against a crooked ass government system. And that's what all of, all of these issues and shit be about. Is that they should be allowed if the people vote and the people say no, you come here, then they should have to listen. Because if they don't, then that's might you might as well have a king and queen that just dictate and rule everything, you know. But, you know, like they said, there's a certain amount of people that run this world, and that motherfucker is really, that's some true shit. Look, I <laughs> some agree. real shit. Yeah, yeah, man, for real. What the fuck is that background noise, and who is it coming from? Sounds like aliens. Uh, that it sounds like, like the fucking shit. My it's my car, man. <laughs> it's who's my car? It? Your car? Yeah. What's funny with it? I, 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 dude, is it for real? No, it sounds like it's from the Jetsons. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, seriously, it sounds like a like we're inside a ship, we're inside the mothership. That's, that's hey, my now, beam me up, Scotty. I'm about to beam up right now. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to get Native American on your ass right now. It's moving me a piece of paper. Oh, that sounds fucked man. up my whole ah. point. It did. It made me entirely forget my point because I'm hearing this sound and suddenly I feel like I'm in the fucking Jetsons. And I, and oh, now I'm out. fading out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm in a spaceship right now, bro. It's my torch. That is I'm going to point. What is that? That is weird. Oh, oh. God, what the fucking fed. Dude, God, I had a goddamn fed listening because I was talking about the government. Oops, sorry. Oh, thank you, Hatline. Sorry, oh, government. Sorry, thank government. Sorry, government. Thank you, Hatline. Thank you. <laughs> they can go ahead and listen. I don't give a shit. Um, the point I wanted to make <laughs> was the fact that it's with us, man. I don't think it's not a, a race war or religion war. It's a class war, and that's what needs to be realized. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the race and the religion is what the classes use against us to make us divide with one another. And it was uh, Frank Nitty actually posted something that I read recently that I agree with more than anything, which is the fact that um, fucking we've become a corporate world or a corporate government, man. Because look at the lobbyists in the U.S. And I swear, whose fucking car is that? I'm sorry. I'm about to make you call back because it's driving me nuts. It is. <laughs> it's my oh, shit. shit. My shit. I know that. Damn it, guy. Damn it. It sounds like it's about to fall. Oh. Oh, dear. It's, it's oh. you. I'm on three-way with Boudini, too. Oh, that's... It crazy. is my fucking torch. Holy fuck. A torch? It's yeah, a torch. I'm dead. Oh my god! Oh, what the fuck is oh, a what kind of torch? And first off, how long were you dabbing for? Because that motherfucker. I've been dabbing since I've been on the line. Oh, oh. And, uh, right. That's what I want to know. If that was a torch. I want to know how long you were fucking lighting this shit up. Man. Well, I haven't You're dabbed right. in months. Man, y'all making me jealous. Fuck this, all right? Let's get back to this shit. Well, I don't know for real. It was like I said, it's become like that. So, Whitey, let's get you in on this shit, man. I want to know. What do you think, just looking at it from that perspective? Well, dude, for real, man, I mean, it's, like you said, dude, it's not even a, a people war. Like, I'm white, but really, who fuck white people? Rich white people. That's what it is. The government, that's what it is, dude, because if you think about it, it's like, it goes all the way back to right after they killed off all the Indians and came here. So you got black people that are slaves. Right? So, you know, what it was, was they stayed in somewhere, and they worked, and the people fed them. And I'm not, I'm, I'm excluding all the sexual abuse and shit. They fed them, you know, they gave them what they needed to survive for their work. And it was called slavery. When today's world, 
It's the same fucking thing. You have to work to survive. That's what it is. They stupid as fuck. They make minimum wage as minimum as possible, so you fucking sell it. It's just what it is, man. And it's coming up in Europe. I mean, that shit, like, dude, if you're on here talking about, like, all this and that, and you eat Thanksgiving dinner, fuck you. Straight up, dude. Because that's what the fuck is you're celebrating. You know what I mean? Like, you're celebrating the Indian's death. That's what the fuck you're celebrating, dude. So, I think it's just like a thing of, of, of how much money you make, man. Because it seems to be affecting all the fucking poor people. You know what I mean? Like, and that's like government in general. When you're rich as fuck, it doesn't matter what color you are. You don't get fucked with by the police. You, that shit don't fucking happen with the police and shit. You know what I mean? Like, and it's all controlled by the government. They control how much fucking money is minimum wage. Not fucking even accurate with what. You know what I mean? Minimum wage is a pack of cigarettes, damn near. What the fuck? That shit, I mean, fuck shit. Man. Fucking retarded, dude. But, uh, I think it's like, fuck the government, dude. I see my dude at Mortal Techniques out there. Fucking supporting out there. Fucking bringing them supplies, earplugs and shit. Like, fuck them, dude. That's all I gotta say, man. Fuck the government. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think that's why there's so much shit going on right now as far as, like, all the shit that's been kicked under the rug that was big for a while, the whole, like, shutting down all the Walmarts and what are they doing there, blah, 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 and the training from Russia, well, I feel like all that shit's starting to happen because the government officials, the Rothstein or the Rothschilds and the Roth, like, Rockefellers, they're starting to see that America is starting to come to the realization of how bullshit <laughs> So I feel like they're setting up for martial law because they think something big is about to happen in the next 50 years or so. And I honestly do not know that. This is a revolution, dude. Hey, hold up real quick. Hey, hold up real quick. Hey, tell me whose number that is. Just give me the last four. Hey, who's 3316? Me. You? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Dude, what the fuck? You're fucking, dude, you're fucking with me, dog. You're fucking with me with that noise. It's like, I don't know what it is, but like. Man, I'm in my car trying to go home, man. Oh, you're driving. Oh, oh that's, that's why. It's on his torch. That's yeah, why. What's up? What's going on? No, uh, no, dude, it's like. It's got it. It's just a noise, Boudini. It's a noise. Hold up. Hey, Bo- hey, what? When I'm not talking, I'll mute my, I'll mute my phone. That way, y'all don't hear me. But I'll still be here. That way, you don't hear me. Uh, yes. Oh, no, I appreciate it. Hold up. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Before yeah. I do that, though, I want to say something, man. Go ahead. That, uh, you know, I, I'm from Chicago, and you know, out here, I live out in Wisconsin now. But you know, I hang with a lot of like, you know, I hang with a lot of black people. I don't give a fuck with anybody think black like, collar, I don't give a damn. Anyway, I ain't with a lot of black people and all this stuff that's been happening lately, all this black lives matter stuff. You know, I tell a man when you start at racial level and you start thinking about race, you know, you just kind of feed into, like, what the government and what is, you know, trying to happen as far as, like, just, like, separate us so that we can't stick together type stuff. You know, like, I tell, I tell people all the time, like, I'm white and I've been shit on by the white man, like, my whole life. So I ain't trying to hear that shit. About how crazy fucking hard you had or something like that. You know, because uh, I've been shit on my whole life. I've been in jail. I get stereotyped by cops all the time because I'm tatted from my head to my toe, you know, and I rap. So, you know, I got a, I got a problem with rich white people too, man. But, so, I, I don't know. Until people get past the point of, like, you know, we're black and you're white and, you know, we can't come together on some simple shit we're just gonna sit here and hate each other cause of our skin color type shit that shit's retarded as fuck and I tell my black friends that shit all the time give a fuck if they get mad they ain't gonna do nothing about it so yeah I just let people know man I uh, this black lives matter and all lives matter and shit like that man you need to figure out who the fuck you are first man instead of worrying about no one hey man I'm cute my phone man real quick who's my new caller I got in this motherfucker from Flint. The lead, asshole. Ain't no fucking giving. Oh. Oh, well, that's, that's nitty. In the hey, I know something. Yeah. I know. Yeah. No. What's going on? Bob, uh, you think it's crazy that, like, I right, keep this shit out. I was just thinking about this high as fuck. Do you think that it's crazy that Hillary Clinton was, like, all good, right? Hey, and then all of a sudden, wait, like, wait, huh? What? You, 
You know you just interrupted Frank Nitty. Oh, no, no, he good. There you go. There you go. He good. He good. Hell no, hell no, Frank. Let me fuck with him. Come on. I hear like, <laughs> what's up, man? So, hold on. So, I'm high as shit. So, look. Tell me if this is fucked up. So, you know how Hillary, like, got, got fucked up with all them, them emails, right? Yeah. Right, right, yeah. So, don't you think it's crazy, like... Like, she was fine and dandy, and then that shit happens, and they link, him, link her to, like, world leader terrorists and shit, and then all of a sudden this bitch is about to die? Yeah, that's what it looks like. But, yeah, I don't think she's going to die. I think, Dr. like, Phil, she Dr. Has Dr. Phil. pneumonia. I think it's wearing her ass out. I think this no, uh, it it ain't ain't wearing her ass out. It's not pneumonia, because, like, I remember, like, a month and a half ago, Dr. Phil came on the CNN and was like, Hillary Clinton's in serious health trouble, and she's receiving health, like... Uh, doctors that are like doing shit from the fifties and shit, and then all of a sudden, like mm-hmm. just all the shit, just crazy. Honestly, man. dude, if you um, if you look it up, there was an article that was only in the Smithsonian for like a little under twenty four hours, and they took it down because it's apparently been stated by one of her doctors that she has like the first stages of dementia, and that's what's going like that's what's really wrong with her. Oh. And they hit it because she's running for president while we want a fucking dementia patient as our president. But, dude, if you watch, right. like, interviews and shit, like, even just her mannerisms are just off, dude. She's she's not all there. I don't think she's ever been all there. In her, her opponent is a dementia patient. <laughs> well, say, hey, Nitty. I know for a fact Nitty, you got right. opinions on this, dog. You know what I'm saying? But I see you don't like Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. I agree. Right? But what's your opinion? It ain't too much me not liking him. This, this, look, no, this is my thing of Donald Trump. It's like he, I don't think he he is prepared. I don't think he prepared to win. I don't think he prepared to to get this far. Mm-hmm. And since he got this far, now everybody got their eye on him. Like, okay, now what are you gonna do? And he just come with this goofball shit. Like, I'm gonna do the wall. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm like, dude, you're not really touching the issue. And dude, you know, he I really doesn't have a plan. plan. Yeah, that's what I thought at first when I seen like Donald Trump. I said, yeah, okay, yeah, all right. And then he won. I'm like, I know he was thinking the same thing. Like, I fucking won. Like, <laughs> okay, no one do now. Like, dude, you know what I mean? Like, we would have loved to seen his face the moment they told him that. Like, hey man, you're uh, the <laughs> the candidate for president. In, like, you actually won. Just like, I'd love to see the moment after he heard that and what his initial thought. Man, was. that would be priceless. All you have to do is just go back, man, and, and just listen to him talk. There's one thing they do that tell you who they are when they, and they speak it. Listen to him talk. He, 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 uh, he contradicts himself all the time. First he says this. He says, I'm going to get them. I'm going to build this wall. I'm going to get them to pay for it. Then he's going to go down and meet the Mexican guy. And then he come back. And then his tone about Mexicans is different. You see what I'm saying? First it was, that's the Mexican. That's this Mexican. It was so much up to everybody. Then he started to go vote with people. And then he started to realize, I can't cross everybody and still win. And then he started slacking up on people. And then he started trying to, you know, reach out. He started reaching, he started reaching, he started reaching. Which, I just, like I said, if, if, if he had a plan, then I wouldn't have no problem voting for him if he had a plan. Because I think he got, I think he got the balls to do some shit. He'd do some crazy shit, but at least he got the balls to do something different. But I don't he don't have a plan. Balls to do stupid enough to start a war. Well, start three or four of them. Just like fuck oh, yeah. ass or something. No, this on no, a regular no. day. You know, this is stupid he, shit. He just start World War Three, and that would be the fucking end. Yeah. Like, that, that would be all. Yeah. He just start one more and war, did, and it like, the worst. Like, that's right, one thing I right, don't right, understand. Yeah. Like, as ballsy as he's, like, as, as he acts, dude, like, yeah, America would pretty much wipe damn near every other military on this planet off. But that would still be millions of casualties, dude. Like, it's, and even if we, like, if we decided to work with, say, like, the cartel or North Korea, like, the cartel may not be have the numbers we do, but they'd come up here and kill kids, babies, family, pets. They wouldn't give a fuck. They'd catch yeah. everything on fire. And he'd be sitting here stuck, yeah. like, oh, shit, this is what we've been doing for 80 years. This just never happened to us. Like, so what do we do now? I feel like yeah. dude, the way to start a revolution, and I've thought about this for a while, just imagine if one day we woke up and not a single American went to work. Like, everybody oh, that's considered the lower 99% of the country, what if we just said we're not going? 
Yeah, but then you wouldn't oh, be able to go get the milk or the gas shit. in your... But see, if yeah, you, you were about to say, if you were about to load up the day before, one of the ones that make it work for us, not them, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't hurt them, mm-hmm. it wouldn't hurt us. Wait, 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 wait. Walmart, it's going to hurt them. Almost hold on, like hold on like for a minute. Six to sixty million dollars in a day. If nobody went to Walmart, listen wanted. for a minute. Listen for a minute. The thing is, is if everyone decided to not go to work, you would get scabs. I don't know if you guys remember what that is from way back in the day. <laughs> when Union. Places would you know go on strike, and their workers would be outside, and people went into work. You'd get scabs. Mm-hmm. Would they pay them cash? under the table or whatever, and they walk out every day, and those people used to get beat the fuck out of. You know what I mean? But they still had work. It's so only half a day. Yeah, so people not... Not... Hey. 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 more be unexpected, so they wouldn't be able to prepare for it. You know what I'm saying? It'd be very unexpected, I mean, especially if, if it... You know, people wouldn't... They wouldn't know how to counteract that. See, man, but, but look... Yeah, like, I've yeah. heard about, like, the unions and, like, all the older protests and shit, but that was never done on a nationwide scale. I mean, this country wasn't built off of jobs. It wasn't built off of, you know what I mean, shit like that. Like, this originally, like, the Native Americans, before technology, before business minds fucked everything up, it was us and nature. If everybody went back to that mindset, what would the 1% of America be besides a bunch of people with shit nobody wants? Like, if everybody no, just said... No, fuck, fuck. hold on. Fuck that, Kane. Fuck that. Shut up, man. I know. Look. You would not, look. You would no, not go back to the but look, 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 look. Every motherfucker in this conversation right now, right? From uh, Nitty to Half Pint to Whitey to myself to uh, you to DJ Mikey are not going to go back to living off the land. Because where the fuck are you going to perform? How the fuck are you going to record your music? I want to do that when I get old. I hate to eat my food. I hate to eat my food. I don't want to be around nobody. Everybody's. I hate to eat my food. I got to eat my food. I got to eat my food. All I know is I got everybody trying to answer at once. As long as I got my dank, I'll be straight. Man, look. If I was in the right dank, like Florida, and I had a gun and some toilet paper, man, let me go. Weed. See, that's why, because I live on a lot of land. Like, my grandparents have a lot of land. I want to go around and the room we one time. I want to go around the room one time, right? Half pipe. So you would go and just yeah. off the land, no tech, nothing. Hell yeah. Like no Hell tech. Hell yeah. But think about that. I mean, you ain't. Only thing I'd miss the most, the thing I'd miss the most would be, of course, like bumping music and stuff, but I would miss Pepsi. That's about <laughs> it. I'd grow my own food. And, you know, like I said, as long as I got my dank. From my plants and got my people around me, I'd be good. So, Kane, so that is how you you be happy, yeah. honestly, because it's that. all these other things that distract us and and hey, the happy, of the watch. world and all in this depressing ass shit. Why I don't watch TV, I don't watch the news or nothing. I want to see this shit. Nah, I'm fucking be depressed all goddamn day watching that shit. Nitty, nitty, man, I hear. I watch. Man, I watch my own shit. This. I hear. I hear a thought uh. in your head that I just want to hear out loud. <laughs> uh, uh, you talking about living <laughs> off the land? Right. Not doing yeah. it. Yeah, it's just no time. I'm not doing it, man. Oh, I think I got the thirty right here. No, I can't do it. That's oh, what I'm saying. I don't see myself doing it. Hey, I mean, I don't know. We're accustomed to so much shit. But, but, I can't do it right now. <laughs> but I think oh, yeah. it's going to be... There's too much shit you got to give up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to give up too much. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but tell me this, though. Tell me this, though, bro. Hey, tell me that. You gave all that shit up, though. As people, we wouldn't be happier and stronger. I live in nighttime, so, you know. Boutini. Yeah, we would be stronger. Maybe. All I know is I hear Boudini talking, and I don't know what the... No, I thought about. I heard him. Boudini. What's up? Yeah, what's up? I, I hear you talking, but it is like to someone else. You are fucking with me, dog. Yeah, I just bought... Nah, I bought some Coke. But, I just bought, what? <laughs> I, bought some, I just bought some Coke. Coke? Yeah, what's up? Coke. What you doing tonight? I got some Sid. I mean, we could really... <laughs> I got my Coca-Cola, bro. 
Oh, Y'all call it the go. Y'all can not be buying right. no cocoa bowl. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Whatever. Let's let's get back to the fucking oh, point of hand, right? Like going on. No, on hold on, hold on, man. It's, it's hold on, hold on, man. Let's, let's get what? let's get Boudini's info. Let's get Boudini's point of view on this shit, man. Fuck, right. man. Fuck. Huh? Fuck. 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 That's all I gotta say, man. Fuck it. Behind the two. I say we say fuck it. We mount up. We all squad up, man. Get out the guns you got, man. We just we just shoot all of them like rich white folks. <laughs> Damn. That's all. That's what we do. Get a bunch wow. of guns and shoot all the white wow. folks. Man. man, I'm down for living off the land. Fuck that. If I live off the land, I gotta live with a uh, half pipe, man, because she she sounds yeah. like she knows what she's we doing. We still be man, rocking uh, it though. We still be having shows and shit. No. They just be live. We be. We be using the microphones out of, like, tree bark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're like, oh, you know, yeah. we have to so use our wait, intellect. Nitty, Nitty, does that make me and you the yeah. only two in the room that are like, fuck that? Sorry, guys. Uh, I ain't moving all in. Let me get uh, uh, in on this for a uh, good minute. I don't, think, I don't think you're trying to think about it, man. I just, let me get a word in it. Would you? Yes or no? Just give me a yes or no. I need to know. Yeah, uh, I tried. You want Whitey Wood? All right. So that makes... Uh, would you? Yes or no? I just want to know. <laughs> Me and Nitty, honestly, the only two motherfuckers in this room right now that are like, fuck that. I ain't living off the land. I need technology. It was funny. It was funny. <laughs> you the, the motherfuckers in the room that, that went the longest without the internet before it even came out. I don't know one of y'all motherfuckers been to prison before, which is the closest thing. I don't know. <laughs> Well, what, what you have to understand about living off the land, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chime in here on this. What you have to understand? What? I said, do it, motherfucker. Just hurry up. All right. Okay. Listen, the thing is about living off the land. You know, one unknown factor says, hey, if you lose your text and your internet and your, um, your ability to record music and stuff like that. A lot of the people in this call right now would say, well, yeah, I would still make that work no matter what. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you have to look at every aspect of it. Like, she's talking about growing her own food. You need a greenhouse to do that. You can't just do that unless you have very nice uh, land to do that. But you know, at the I, same time... I mean, I'm a, I have a garden on like a three-acre garden. Right, right, right. right. Hold on, though. What you have to understand is, man, is everything you kill is what you're going to eat. Um, you're not going to have refrigerated food. Uh, you're not going to have a bathroom. You're not going to have any of that shit. Um, you're not going to be able to walk around on carpet. You're not going to be able to change your fucking socks unless you go into town and get them. It, it, like, you would have to treat it like you're on the run from the cops. You know what I mean? To really do that, unless you, you know, build yourself like a little shed or whatever the fuck it is. You know, and then you can live off the land that way, you know, technically. But, um, I don't think there, as far as there's a lot of things happening up besides just that, you know, it, it would, it would become a new life, like a new way of life. You know what I mean? But, uh, me personally, um, you know, I, I, I know a lot of people, uh, including Unknown Factor, um, a lot of people are my friends, really don't know this about me. I was a life scout, which is right below Eagle. Scouts and um, they used to send us into like the woods and stuff like that for uh, like three weeks at a time. And you'd have to kill things. You can shower. You can anything. You can go to the bathroom. But if you wanted to quit, you had like a little walkie-talkie. And I only quit once because it literally rained every single fucking day. So after like a week and a half, two weeks, I quit. I I, could, I couldn't do it. You know what I mean? My tent would keep falling over, this and that. And uh, what they did was... No, I they, wouldn't want to live like that either. Yeah, they, no, they, they got... But I would, uh, if I had my own big-ass house, like a big-ass house, I could live in a big-ass house with no electricity. Man, And live like, like they did back in the olden days. I could do that. No, I could definitely that. do that. And I could definitely grow some little corn on the cob and motherfucking... Whatever, I'll eat like I eat like that now. I don't even need no damn meat. Hey, fuck that. I barely eat. I just need, but I do need like a, I need like a a shelter. I don't want to be out there and scavenging. Hell no. I want to have me a farm. I want to have my own farm. That's my dream when I get older. That's why I'm, you know, that's what I'm going to make happen for me. 
Like, yes or no? That's what's going to make me happy, baby. Yes or no? Wait, wait, wait. Real quick, before we go any further, I just have to say, that is the most long-winded fucking no I have ever gotten. Oh, my God. It was well, no, like I'm not. To someone. No, it was like talking to someone on a customer service representative on any capacity. <laughs> you know what? Fuck that, man. I feel the need to flip the script because that's what I do. I know we got Nitty in the house, dog, and I've been seeing a lot of... I've been seeing a lot of posts on your shit, dog, in regards to this, uh, Kep- what was Kep- you fuck, Kaepernick, Kaep- Kaepernick, right? Kaepernick. Kaepernick, all right, there you go. Yeah. I've seen him just all over the internet in general, and we were, somebody brought up earlier the, uh, Black Lives, I think it was you, Whitey, <laughs> and all that, um, I'm just curious, like, what's your opinion of that? Situation, man. The whole thing with him, like, the fact that he sit down, and do you feel like what are the signs? Yeah, of how it's been? No, I have no problem. Who I was yeah. asking that? I don't have a lot of background noise. Oh, what's up? Oh, I didn't get a yes or no into the unknown factor, but uh, that wasn't a yes or no. That was a question for Nitty about okay. Kaepernick. I know. Right, so okay, what do you go think ahead. What he did. Yeah, yeah. What do you think oh. about what he did, man? And just the effects it's had. I think he had some nuts. I ain't going. I don't even lie. I think he had. I think he had some nuts <laughs> to do it. Because for the simple fact, how much you going to lose behind it? You know, Kaepernick. You know, he just got his first fat contract. You know, he got seventy million guaranteed. But you know, his last year he was. He, you know, he was off a little bit. But for you to make a stand like that in the situation that you're in right now, you know. I thought it was. I thought he had. I thought he had nuts to do it. You know. I mean, it, it got. It got to be from the heart for you to do something like this. Mm-hmm. It's got to be. And, you know. And I understand where he's coming from for the simple fact that you know a lot of people get mixed up and intertwined. Saying, "Well, he's like he's disrespecting soldiers. He's disrespecting USA." That's not. That's not what he's doing. And he says that when he talks. This is. This is injustice for everybody. You think about this. And you think about who's who in the whole in the, out of all everybody in America who's the most disrespected group of people in America. They are our soldiers oh, and right. veterans who come home. Mm-hmm. You, you see what I'm saying? They are the most disrespected. I'm going to tell you why. They go over there and they work and they put their life on the line for peanuts. Sit down and shut up. And they put their life on the line for peanuts. And then they come home, they be sick, and they don't get the help. They mm-hmm. don't get health care. They don't get pensions. Nothing. And you think. And it's NBA players who are getting $100 million a year. you going to tell me that the people who protect us every day don't deserve more money than what they get? And you see a ball player get $100 million? You see what I'm saying? You tell me where that makes sense at. Oh, no. I, yeah. I feel you on that, dude. I'll tell you. it's uh, I, I don't know if anybody here is familiar with the Key and Peele show, but they did a funny thing in reference because I agree with the whole NFL players make way too much goddamn money. Compared to like you know, yeah. to serve cops, firefighters, even teachers. You know, and they did a little funny bit where they were like drafting teachers for school, like it was the fucking uh-huh. NFL, dude, and giving them multi million dollar contracts because that you know, if we right. want to create decent, productive people, we need to fucking treat our teachers like that, not the motherfuckers that are right out there to entertain us, which is terrible because everybody in right. this fucking call right now is out there to entertain us. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but you think teachers, police, the soldiers, the veterans, these are more some of the least paid people on this earth. And think you know what I do, and then they risk their life every day. And then the people who who's supposed to who's supposed to teach us and, and and give us knowledge on a daily basis, they're they're they getting peanuts. They have to work their ass off, and then to not to not not be able to really fully take care of themselves like that. And then when soldiers come home, I have not seen where it been like, well, I seen a story just yesterday, and it was a, a cop who had seen a guy who was, uh, I guess it was illegal to, to, uh, to ask for money in front of the store, these stores or something. And, and the guy said, I'm a vet, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a vet, I'm a veteran. And a cop took him and took him to this veteran, uh, place where he could get, where the veteran hospital and stuff, where he can actually get help under, under, uh, under the veteran, you know, guidelines and stuff. You know, and, and, and it's, it was sad to the point where, for one, you know, that's not even the light the cops have been put in lately. And then, two, for him to be a veteran, to even be in that position, 
is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Yeah. It is. It's, it's, it's totally ridiculous. And that's why I said, and, and you know, and, and that's what Cap said. Cap said, it's 22, um, I mean, 22 veterans who kill themselves every day from uh, PTS. They don't, yeah. and, but you know what? America looks over Ain't that. Ain't nobody saying they shit about that. They look over that. They're not saying nothing about that. Cap said that on TV. You know what? <laughs> Everybody looking over everything that he has said, and only just pictures of the fact he, he sits down to it. Burning his jersey that. and all kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> Right, but has anybody ever heard anything that he said? Yeah, this is real. These are real, real legit things. You've got, me, you've got me reading shit, Nitty. You do. I fucking, I fucking read these articles. As um, did you guys happen to see the fucking um article where he actually um he had a sit down with a, like a marine and they sat there and went over the yeah. issues and that's why he kneels now instead of sits. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Because sure it looks like the Marine basically the said, like, I understand everything you're saying, but you got to understand from our point. And so they came up with it, mm-hmm. kind of like flying a flag at, like, half, I mean, I guess it's like half half, even though that's a completely different reason. But, yeah, I agree with what you're saying completely, dude. I mean, I don't understand how there's so many soldiers that are so offended by it. If I would, if I would have chose that route, which I did think about it, and then I just, once I got a little older, I was like, nah, fuck that completely. But if I were to do that, man, and, like, go out there and protect, really, like, and they say, like, oh, we're protecting our people, blah, blah, we're protecting our government, dude, to be 112% honest, because people are getting killed on the street. There's no army protecting people getting killed on the street other than police, and they're half the fucking reason people get killed on the street most of the time. So, in Chicago, motherfuckers die every day, (laughs) all day long in Chicago. And ain't nobody. And that's what I don't understand is like this false sense of like patriarchism that we are like we're supposed to be born with. Like for like when people say like fuck America and everyone gets all butthurt, well I'll fucking leave, blah blah blah. We're not saying like fuck the land we live in. We're saying like fuck the government. Like if I was a soldier and I came back and had to struggle, I would be the biggest America hater ever. But yet they come back with some right. type of like brainwashed patriotism for for what reason? I've never been able to understand. Especially the ones that do develop some type of PTSD, like... Hey, real quick, dog. I don't think it's necessarily brainwashed patriotism. I think it's the fact that, for real, them motherfuckers was in some shit with, uh, you know, Mm -hmm. the people that were also Americans. I mean, they're getting fucking shot at. You know, IEDs in the fucking ground. You might drive your hum over the wrong spot, and suddenly you're done. You know, so... You've got to have that people. Oh, yeah, and that's what I'm saying, though. But, like, say yeah. you went to somewhere and you kicked it with, like, a clique of people and you guys got in a big-ass fight and those people protected you and then as soon as all of those people are gone and you're back and you're out of the fight, you have nobody in the world. Like, I don't understand how they can still say, like, I understand saying they love their brothers in arms, but to say that, like, oh, you're disrespecting this country, like, I don't see us fighting right. for this country, dude. Like, nobody's dumb anymore. Everybody knows 9-11 wasn't a fucking wasn't a terrorist attack. We didn't go over there to fight because of terror. And not to mention, dude, I I don't understand this world we live in as to why America feels like if them niggas want to be dictators, fuck them. They're not fucking with us. Let them do what the fuck they want. America had its own revolution to break out from the dictatorship in fucking Britain. So why the fuck should we be the ones to go and help other people do it? I mean, you know why? Because... If they want world peace, they want every. They want. They, they want. They, they they want every country to uh, adopt our democracy. They but they, 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 they want world, they they world, world money involved, or world land, land or world yeah. oil. Like they don't go to countries that are really fucked up. Like I have a friend in Nigeria yeah. that told me they just oh. developed a di- uh, democracy in like '94. Mm-hmm. So it's like four or five years mm-hmm. after he was born. And he said they're still reaping the effects of it. Like, to this day, soldiers still what kill you? people at random for no fucking reason. Does America go, oh, oh, we got to go to Nigeria and help them? No, because there's not shit there for us. Like, these people oh, live without right. electricity. They live without hey, hey, hold on, man. Look at this mm-hmm. stuff. That's the shit I'm talking about, though. Look at the Kaepernick shit, the Hillary Clinton shit, the Trump shit. Man, yeah. all these motherfuckers forgot. Yeah. Kent still don't got water, man. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. Oh, we still ain't got water. water. <laughs> no fucking garbage, dude. Nobody even gives a fuck. We're over here fucking helping other countries, and we can't even help our own fucking shit, dog. And it's not yeah, all right. Flint water, bro. It's a lot of Michigan. My water's fucked up. Right. A lot of waters are fucked up, and nobody even gives a fuck, bro. That is true. Yeah. You're right. You're so mm-hmm. right. 
Yeah, I'm telling you that Trump, Trump was up here today, man. That was crazy. He wait, was up wait, here wait. today. Trump was oh, here today. Nitty, did you see him? Tell me you seen him, please. No, I didn't see him. I didn't. Oh. I didn't get. To, I didn't get to see him. But he went to a look. He went to a. Uh, he went to a, a black church up here, and it was like you know, lady was like you know, they let him have they let him have a podium. He got up there. He was he, he, he was with the stuff and, and trying to fake praise and shit like he was a pastor. And then he said something about Hillary Clinton, and then the lady shut him down. She was like, "Look, we didn't bring you in here for you to, for y'all for y'all political debate stuff." She said, "We brought you in here to see, to ask you what are you going to do for us." What's, what 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 is your plan for this for this for this country? Wait, what is your plan for plan? What is your plan for wait, Nitty, for us Nitty, as a Nitty, whole? Nitty, huh? My luggage. I gotta go. <laughs> you know the moment you we're go? talking about with Bing Carson? No, no. Dude, in the interview, Did? they they were interviewing Bing Carson and they asked him uh, what he thought Trump learned and all that, and that motherfucker goes, "My luggage," and bounces like gone. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that's, 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 what, that's about what happened with Trump today. Oh, uh, dude, it was the, it's for real, it's the best, like, I gotta fucking go because I can't answer this question politically that I have ever seen in my life. If y'all haven't seen that, like I said, it's just a little bit <laughs> with Ben Carson. It's fucking hilarious. Mm. It is. Because you can tell that motherfucker has no real respect for Trump just in that moment. Either that or he's fucking mm-hmm. going insane, whichever one it is. You know, you ain't seen that moment, Nitty? No. Oh. Being Carlson? Yeah, man. When they're interviewing oh. him about Trump. Mm-hmm. Has no one seen that? I have right now. I don't ever watch fucking TV. I don't That's watch TV, man. Once in a while, I watch the morning news. I'm going to look it up, look it up when you get the phone. Oh, dude, it's... All I watch is anime, dog. Man, go hey, you guys should watch this documentary on Trump, though. They got this documentary where you go. For real. All I know is, like, for real, my luggage. Yeah, it was, oh. it was priceless, y'all. <laughs> I'll look it up, tell, though. Yeah, you could just tell that it was a thing where they were, they were asking him a sincere question about Trump, and he was like, I just mm-hmm. don't. Like there is no. He's like, I'm out of here. Yeah, there's no good answer for that, so I'm just gonna so. fucking leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Nitty, oh, I wish man. you would have like, oh, seen that motherfucker and just been like, "So what are you gonna do, Clint?" Oh, like that. Yeah, this shit. Hey, that motherfucker ain't gonna do Not a goddamn name. thing except catch World War or fucking cause World War Three oh. if he gets in. Hey, so so is yeah. anybody hype? Is anybody hyped to how actually like voting works and elections work? Oh, wait, if it worked in our favor, Bernie Sanders would be on the ballot. No, I mean how they work. They literally thousands of people got screwed out of not Bernie yeah, Sanders. See, if you're talking about how an election works, Whitey, what part of the process yeah. are you talking about? Because there are so many parts of it that are fucked. As far as the I'm, like, I'm talking about like House and Senate seating and electoral votes and like what's both out and how like the feeding actually yeah, matters. He's talking about electoral yeah. ecology, oh. talking about super delegates and shit, bro. That's what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah, it's so pretty much all of it. Yeah. I, I he's talking about all of it. And dude, that's a long ass conversation. Why are you shitting me? Like, oh my! I'm God. just saying that it doesn't. It's fucked up how like your vote doesn't even matter. Like no one's vote matters because it's all really about feeding and like it's crazy, dude. Oh, really but got, I wonder. I always wanted that too. I wonder that. How did that, what, what's the delicate got to do with it? If you, if you guys don't uh, know, there's this thing called Adam Ruins Everything. It's like a show where he has one about, like, voting and shit. And, like, it puts you up on most of the shit. But, yeah, it's how, like, uh, mm-hmm. like your vote means nothing. Like, you, like everyone in America could not vote, and it still wouldn't mean shit. Mm-hmm. Like, it's crazy. See, yeah. That's all yeah, because I mean, like, when, uh, when they, like, electoral, what is the electoral vote? Oh, the electoral, okay. like, all right. Oh, go ahead, Woody. Like, there's, there's, like, certain, like, all right, how you have votes. Well, every state has, a like, electoral vote. And, like, that's the votes that matter. And those votes don't even matter because the, the there's, a like, every certain amount of years, the Democrats and the Republicans get to pick who's who. 
So they're going to, if it's for Republicans, of course, they're going to put more Republicans to vote. So then the president's going to be mm-hmm. Republican. And it's just, it's never failed. It's, the, it's always worked the same exact way. It'll work this way, too. It's crazy as fuck. Mm. See, it's the way it is. Yeah, that's why I'll tell you for anyone out there listening. I I mean, if you ain't got a whole lot of time to watch the news, I suggest at least going on YouTube every once in a while, checking out like fucking Stephen Colbert, uh, and John Stewart, fucking uh, fuck who are the other fuck? Yeah, The Daily Show, The Nightly Show when it existed, Larry Wilmore, whatever he continues doing, and um, oh the fucker that got a show on HBO. I can't remember his name. He used to be on The Daily Show though. My wife would be like, "Why the fuck are you even listening if you don't know?" But that's because that's what I do. Because that's where I get my news. Because they put a bit of comedy into it. And that's the only way I can watch the news anymore mm-hmm. unless I'm reading it. Because otherwise, it <laughs> comedy. Me. Well, yeah. You got to have dude. Because for real. That's I mean, a good idea. There, yeah, you're sitting there talking about the Electoral College and delegates and how that's picked. And, I mean, I, I've heard all that process broken down and I've read about it. It's, it's ridiculous. And it's completely unnecessary. Especially based on the fact that technologically now... We're at a point to where it wouldn't be that difficult to count actual fucking single votes because, well, you know, technology and shit, you know, I understand why it was necessary in the past because when all that shit was initially set up, some motherfuckers couldn't even read, you know, and so they Uh based it on that. So I get that to that aspect, but to look at it nowadays and still have the same system, they only left it there because it was easiest to corrupt. You know, Dude, all you gotta do is look at what Hitler did and look at how he like became that powerful, and it's the same shit. Do the government gives us two choices: outlet one or outlet two. Put your fork in it. Like you don't, you only have a choice of what they give you, so you really don't have a choice. They like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like Hitler, he did the same shit. Like once you take away your guns, which they're trying to do, I can't defend yourself. Like it's all the same shit. It's all just mind control. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have no fucking choice of shit in this world. You just live and deal with that shit. You know what I mean? Like, you have, like, your self-choices. That's it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why, personally, I, there's a kid screaming in the background. Who's, who's beating a child? Why are you beating a child, man? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, fair enough, Diddy. Look. I closed the door because my kid was doing the same, or you'd have picked it up on the mic. So what can you say? But real quick, I just want to say, as far as what we want to say, that's why we over here at No Fucks Given support the fucking music we do. And you can go check that all out on the radio, up to and including everybody on this motherfucking interview right now. You know what I'm saying? From Whitey to Nitty and Project Born, you can download actually that uh, uh, fucking solo shit that Nitty put out. You can also get that, get that at Dat Piff, fucking Blacklist Crew. Fucking uh, Kane, we got that shit over there. Go rep that shit because it's shit that's not controlled by the media. And I think that's a lot of the problem. Mm-hmm. Is the is the fact uh, yeah. that let them exhume so much control, dude. You know? Like so I wanna well, have pint. Like for real. Do you yeah. think do you think there's something we can do to help fix that mm-hmm. to where people aren't so easily controlled at a base level? Yeah, I think you just got to make people believe in themselves and and want to be different instead of being the same. You know, that's what I that's that's what I've been trying to tell the people or the like. You know, the artists around this area, the young ones, I tell them to do something different and you know, just don't do the same shit because the world's changing right. and people need a voice and they need something to uplift them everyone wants to be uplifted that's what time it is people feel hopeless right now people are depressed you know and they need voices they tired of you know the same this shit is out you know and that's that's what uh that's what i do you know i'm about speaking my mind and i ain't never gonna let nobody shut me up I, you know if i'm wrong i'll admit i'm wrong if i do some stupid shit I'll, I'll admit it or if I say something out of line and it offends somebody and, and we talk or something I'll apologize but I ain't just gonna mm-hmm. shut up because it somebody don't want to eat the truth you know I'm not gonna mm-hmm. 
you know, like Kaepernick, you know, just because people don't want to hear the truth don't mean he ain't got a right to to protest, you know. You, we we need to make people change the way they think, and that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, I I want to do music to to change people's minds to the way they think, and that they don't have to dress a certain way, or they don't have to be a whore, or they don't have to, you know, be yourself. You you know, be that's that's what I preach. That's why my kids, you know, they all. They're, my kids are powerful, you know, because they, I taught them to be their self. Like, they used to come home and people would tease them. Like, they used to tease me and pick on them. But I'd be like, no, you know, you chosen, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we special people, you know what I'm saying? We come from a, a good line of people and, and be proud of who you are and believe in God, you know, all that stuff, and, and now they shine, you feel me, I got two kids that one's 19, one's 17, or I got four, two older ones, and then a 13-year-old, and a 7-year-old, and they all got confidence uh -huh. in their self, Hell yeah. and that's Wait, how old what are I'm you? trying to do with my music, uplift the people. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, how old are you? Me? Yeah. I'm 39. First off, oh, okay. first off, Mikey, you're a dick. You never ask a woman her age. I apologize. For my oh, life. I don't mind shit. No, no, half pint. He's an asshole. I'm okay. happy to say I'm 39 and I look like I'm like, you know, pretty young. I don't, you know, they tell me I look pretty young. Yeah, I wouldn't say you look 39, but I'll tell you what, on that same subject, I want to know uh, from the man that's been in the, game <laughs> the longest, which would be Nitty. Yeah, because you know, you've been in it longer than anybody up in this motherfucking call, dog, for real. Um, what do you think as far as just us musically being able to affect the media to where perhaps people aren't so easy to control? Well, uh, I, I, feel, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I, just, I guess with, our, with the underground, man, we, we, you know, we kind of say what we want to say, do what we want to do. You know, everything, basically like that. You know, I don't, I don't too much... What, what the media is talking about. You know, I try to get some facts. You know, I try to put the facts together and and, and roll with it. You know, you can't let that too much dictate. You know, everything because sometimes they 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 want they let you see what they want you to see. So then, it sometimes it makes you biased. You know, so you know they. Why do you think they put all these all these cops killing young black on on our men all the time? They, they mm -hmm. you know, and and then they say. Well, they kill, you know, some people say, well, they kill more white, more, more white people than they do black. I say, well, why don't they ever show it? You know why? Because they don't want it. They don't want, they don't want, they don't want it to see that. You know, they, they want every because that will cause conflict between blacks and whites. If, 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 if a, with, with a bunch of people who don't have no sense. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And if they can, if they can continuously keep, keep conflict between blacks and whites, then, they can run whatever they want to by it, and we'll never see it. Never see it. Until we actually say, hold the fuck on. Nah, hell no, nah, that don't make no sense. That has nothing to do with black and white. It's us against y'all. Rich, rich, rich people against poor. You ain't got no money. I don't care who, what color you are. They're going to they run you with the jail. they do this. they run everything over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you ain't, you ain't part of you know, their circle. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They ain't part of their circle, so... Basically, the media points out what they want to so because they know they know. Well, if we we show this, but uh, this police officer jumping on these black folks, the black folks gonna act the fool. And guess what? They gonna point the anger at the white folks. They gonna make it a black and white thing because they know that this that's that, that's the way they're gonna make the pitch. And then if they keep that riled up, then we never get no progress. We don't get no progress as long as we get each other. Well, I'll tell you what, on something on a note of just bullshit in the media, man, I got another thing I wanted to bring up, which, uh, have y'all seen these motherfucking clowns that are you know, like these clear, these motherfuckers dressed up in killer clown outfits? <laughs> yeah, it's like riding on bikes and shit. Yeah, no, but I seen that on the news in the morning. The yeah. There is hell. Police are Michigan. like, just let them Walk go them. past, you know, and approach them. Hell no, I ain't gonna I'm approach the motherfucking man in there staring at me in a fucking clown mask. So, I yeah. go outside in the front. 
Man, why do you It's like would? carrying con- I would too. I'd shoot him over the table. Man, well, there, that's see, what happened in Michigan, yeah. though. I don't know that point. I think I'm more prone to agree with you. Just like stay away from that motherfucker. You know? Fucking why? Do you yeah, I would not. Him? Yeah, don't approach. Yeah, Find you, him. Put him in the truck. Who the man, hell man, would approach somebody like that? Yeah, because for real, look. If that motherfucker's got a knife, it's it's. I mean, but it's all. You never know what that motherfucker's gonna have under his shit. Like if that motherfucker can pull out a double barrel twelve, kill your clown, your fucking head off the second you get close man, enough. For you him ever to get seen uh? Face. What was that? Might have free kids. Yeah, they be looking Might scary. Yeah, you know. Here's some kind of clown. There's some scary clown mask. Yeah, the word. You see the clown? Not what was that movie? Not Killer Clowns from Outer Space, but the other one. Uh, was a clown. There's been like five. Scary as fuck. You're talking about it. Clowns, but... No, not it. It was an old school movie called Clown House or some. From the 80s, and they was these clowns that I think they escaped. They were crazy dudes that escaped from like a mental hospital, and they put on them crazy ass, scary clown masks. And they was dressed in clown suits, and they was like, kill, you know, killing motherfuckers, and that shit was scary as hell. That sounds fresh. Wow. Yeah, it's called, I think it's called Clown House. That's what I think it's called. It was good, though. Oh, the, I think I'd have to screw a girl or two after I watch Clown House. You feel me? The fuck is wrong with you? It hey. is the shit. <laughs> yeah. Know, it is the shit. It is. Hey, but uh, yeah, White, time, White what Diddy, up? you two are up in Michigan, and that's where a lot of the yeah, yeah. have been. Y'all ain't seen it. No. <laughs> They're wearing. Oh. South Carolina. They clowning. South Carolina. I'd be they putting them. They're, they're spreading, so they may. Have, yeah, I thought they were up in Michigan. Michigan. Not, nobody's seen them. Nah, there. man. We're, our clowns here, man. There's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> That's a different. There was one in Milwaukee. I mean, the this is the thing, Milwaukee. though. Like, it's funny and shit. But if you did that in some real ass like place, like if you came to Flint, Pine, <laughs> <Detroit, laughs> if you had some real, they <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, oh, like, shot. You know, yeah. homie, don't play that. Playing too much. Yeah, you gonna have a gun. <laughs> Pointed at you long before you can do a goddamn thing. I would think. Just, right. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> like you better get the fuck hey, out of here. Right you guys hear Karen title town chance for December thirty first? <laughs> just in case, just so you guys know. Oh wait, yeah, are you playing that? Yeah, what? yeah. Me and Quinn, me. There's gonna be a whole fucking bunch of people. Bloody ruckus when he wait, gets wait, out. Wait. Oh, wait, and see, I know Bloody ain't getting out till like, November, dog. Yeah, it's moved to December 31st. Oh, it was yeah, October. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's what he said, December 31st. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot they moved that. Hey, Frank, man, I know you got something coming up, right? What's that show you got coming up, dog? It's a rare bike, but it's not that rare. Let's Nitty. Go see my local... Hey, man, all right, very cool. Like Frank Nitty Nitty go, Uh-oh, Nitty's like, fuck He's that, so... man. There's too many people, and it's too chaotic, and I gotta go. That's understandable. Hello? Oh, no. Hello? Look, there he is. I said, man, I know you got a show coming up, too, don't you, dog? Yeah, it's in December, December 13th. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be in uh, Allen Park, Michigan. Uh, and hey, December 16th, it's gonna be here in Flint, Michigan. Hey. And coming up, coming up when, when the weather gets cold, when the snow hit. Ooh. Where's that? Uh, where that? You know. Yeah, and then, then, uh, be touring early next next year, February, March. So. Oh, is that going to have a, anything to, I can, I can mention that, can't I? I just can't mention that. Yeah, that's right, because you guys, yeah, because you guys got that Born Dead 3 coming out. Yeah, I just can't, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So you got to, are, nice. are you planning that tour for right away when you drop that? Yeah, yep, yep. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. That's that's what can I tell you? That's nice. Yeah. Nasty. I can't. I can't wait for that. Oh, yeah. So yeah, look, everybody's got shows coming up. Nice, hey, I got a show Saturday too. So anybody out here Saturday at the Ritz, come check out your boy. Yeah. Y'all need to go peep some live music, like for real. Like 
Get out on them fucking right. weekends. Find something and do something. Right, yeah. That's what's up. Right. For real. But man, right. uh, who was on these killer clowns? But fuck them killer clowns because these killer clowns are irrelevant. Um, bloody run. Yeah, bloody run. Yeah, bloody run. Yeah, bloody run. Yeah, bloody uh, well, hold on, Boudini. We're gonna you joined at just the appropriate point you really want to. No. Before you get in, Boudini, don't snap off yet because I want Nitty's opinion of this before we go into the Blacklist crew because I know the Blacklist crew's opinion of this shit. Oh god. Um so Nitty, did you see I'm this just incident stay quiet. with old girl cutting cutting her finger off or having her uh like fucking having her finger chopped off, like no. willingly. Nitty. Who 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 had his finger cut off? Uh, uh dude, some <laughs> shit. Ah, uh, no. Some oh. chick like fucking offered her pinky up to get chopped off. Like, like, uh, like. Uh-huh. And so this dude chopped it off. Like I said, Bloody Ruckus was there. He's a piece filmed it. There's actually footage out. I've seen it. Um, but yeah, they uh-huh. apparently drank her blood. Or well, yeah, the dude that chopped the finger off drank the blood. I don't know they whether Bloody Ruckus did or not is no, as far as I'm concerned, because oh. that's what everything said. Can we get the video link on the page so everyone can see it, just in case they didn't? Man, can we put no, the link on be- Look, I would if I could fucking, but you find me that video, right? Hey, Boudini, I, didn't type in, uh, I just typed in finger chop off. And you found that video? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just go to time, uh, relevancy, and go like a week, and it'll be the first one that comes up. Oh, well, in that case, yeah. at least my wife was paying more attention, and I'd have her do that. But yeah, dude, I mean, <laughs> This chick just offered her pinker up. The, uh, the dude missed the first time and only really fucked it up, and then she put it back on there and they chopped it all the way off. This was apparently in dedication mm. to someone that had passed. Oh, I'm just curious, dog. What's your opinion of this? That's shiny. Ma? Yeah, Diddy, yours. Because I that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm sure this week. That's crazy. I'm not doing no shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I ain't doing no Okay, like that. thank you. Case oh. fucking closed, right? Yeah, that's right. the general Yeah, I don't care. I'm about to leave. Right. That's normal thing. So come chop my finger off, they're going to bring you back. Shit, so I ain't going to do it. It's <laughs> like... I heard I, they, uh... Gone you know who this gang is? Say what? Boogie? Okay. Oh, my God. Wait. No, that was you, Wally. What'd you say? Uh, I'm talking about the uh, Bloody Ruckus versus the Inth Gang. Bloody Ruckus versus the what? The Inth Gang. The Inth Gang. Yeah, g Oh, no, I didn't know nothing about that. No, I was joking, man, because you know their signs like the little finger, the little finger up. Okay. Never mind. I'm too high. Hey, look. Why do you anyway. fucking with me? You know. But hey, so <laughs> let's ask the person in the room that responds some kind of eagerly anticipating. Hey, Boudini, what do you think of this whole incident? Yeah. Well, I'm just going to say from like, you know, me and Half Fight, you know, we're in Wisco, man, where, you know, he's an artist and we're artists out here, so. You being an artist and doing it and getting that type of attention, you put bad, you know, attention on the other artists, man, you know. So if you're going to, like, bring attention to the artists in Wisconsin, then, you know, I'd rather, you know, get it on TV for, like, chopping somebody's finger off or being, like, a snitch or something. Like, just literally chopping your finger off in the name of, you know, something that... shit. That, that, yeah, that shit that, that somebody that built that isn't here to protect... You know, his legacy, you know, Gino... Bill not Paul not just that, Boudini, but they made the post where they were trying to summon demons by, right. you know, doing this ritual. They was on some old uh, shit, you know. That, that's yeah. all. You know, I feel like cult shit, that's not what Gino was. Gino wasn't no devil worshipper. He just, you know, he was... Uh, 
he would have been like, y'all dumb as hell for this shit, you know? And they think, and it's cool, like, I don't care to bitch cut her finger off, whatever, you know, but don't do it in the name of, of cult shit, something that don't belong to you, you know? And something that, that me and, my, and T, like, we dedicated our life to that at that time, you know? We, we dedicated everything to that, everything. And yeah, man. so they made it like a ju- we, you know how many people I had to like, like I had to keep telling people no culture isn't devil worshippers. It's not like that. It's just a cult that brainwashes you into believing in yourself. I got people from the hood to start coming to these shows because they was like, I you know I love you half time, but I don't know about this cult shit, you know. But I got them to come and I got them to believe in that movement. And then for them to do something like that on some devil worship and shit and cult shit, then I, that's where I was like, you know, to me, that is offensive to Gino, you know. Because personally, I know him personally, and I know that he wouldn't think that shit was cool, you know. All right. Now, real quick, Alpine, I want to say, as far as the uh, Gino and all that, uh, from what I understand, and this came from someone that was had spoken to Bloody Ruckus, um, that conversation as well as up on the site is called I don't know what the fuck the wife titled it, but whatever, it's there. Um so we refer to the ghost and a couple others. But it was to a gentleman blue fuck, see I don't it was what's the guy down in Wisconsin? Wicked, Wicked Blue. Liquid blue? Yeah. Wicked blue. Yeah, I, yeah, I I don't know him. I never met him or nothing, but I know who you're talking about though. That's who was that's who it was apparently done in tribute to. Right, that's who it was for. I feel you, even if it was, even if it was, at the beginning of the video, Buddy Ruckus, who is supposed to be a cult leader, see, I was a cult leader too, you feel me? I was a cult leader. Me and T were cult leaders. And and so, Bloody, I am have deep conversations with him too. And he never came to me, like, because he knew I ain't play that shit, you know? And... I just was surprised, like, that he would do that and be like, this is some cult shit. But then what's fucked up is that when they get caught up in the mess, they say they juggalos, you know, and I'm not a juggalo, but that's what they did. They didn't want cult shit nowhere near that shit, you know what I'm saying? All right. So we, like... Yeah. Real quick, I want to know. Hey, what why? Yeah, hey, don't go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, hey, Dean. I'm sorry, hey, look, Dean. Take this out, take this out. You gotta understand when you when you scream out cold shit, you're scra- especially with you know Geo passing and stuff and and the impact he had on a lot of people you know dark half and stuff. When you scream out in the name of cold shit, you gotta understand it's taken as in the name of like Geo. You know what I'm saying? So for him not to be here to protect what he built and y'all to be shitting on it and then these little peon fans, these little groupies and stuff to be throwing up pinkies and stuff like that. I already told these 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 people out here screaming pinkies up cold shit. I'm going to slap the shit out of a fire receiving person. Because that shit make us all look bad, man. We ain't out here sacrificing nobody's pinky. Who the fuck sacrifices their pinky in the name of somebody? That shit is dumb <laughs> in the first place. Hey, Boudin, you going to sacrifice your pinky? No, hey, you going to sacrifice this? No, no, no. Leonardo <laughs> Boudin, da Vinci listen, cut his listen, ear off. Listen, listen. It is stupid. Uh, throwing that out I there. Know. DJ Mike here. Hey, 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 Second fight is stupid ass funny. Hey, you know, Boudini, you're right. You oh, don't what? sacrifice no. people or uh, Pinky. You need a whole fucking person. What is wrong with people? Don't yeah, they man, know how this shit Yeah, you know, works? if you go, if you go, yeah. if you go, oh, if you go, if you go, if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sacrifice some less. Well, look here, dumb bitch. How about you sacrifice your dumb ass brain? We'll take it out your head. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just dumb to me, man. And it makes right. us all as artists. Right. It makes us all yeah. as artists look bad. And they, they sit up there, they sit up there saying how you know Wicked Wisconsin is backing up Bloody Ruck, free Bloody Ruckers and stuff. Well, I know the people that started the Wicked Wish Show. They uh they they put out an interview on uh on the news channel, man, and said that you know Wicked Wisco does not back that up. They don't condone that and all this other shit. And all these people saying that they talked to Bloody Ruckers. His own manager, Brandon X, ain't even talked to him. He's in the blind of what the fuck is going on. So I don't believe none of these little fucks talk about it. Oh, I'm so cool with bloody ruckus that you a groupie and you would sacrifice your pinky too. So shut the fuck up. That's my opinion. Right? I'm smacking the shit out. I'm, I'm smacking the shit out of any of them little fucks that I see in public. Oh, my God. I didn't already put dope feet on blast. Dope feet is a oh, scary okay. ass. He's done rapping. He shut off his Facebook and all that shit. I'm starting from the bottom and I'm carrying out that whole motherfucking artist too, man. Out. 
right. I'm airing all of the pussies out. Okay, let's, let's just say, so mm-hmm. Boudini, Boudini, he, Letting it out. he don't like deep, he don't like dope fiends, and that's cool. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. That's awesome, right? I don't like him either. Yeah, He's I mean, my brother you know, and I don't like him. That's, we it's, were able to crack a joke I mean, on him too. Yeah, fucking. Okay. What? what did we oh, don't. If you going to listen. Also, it was about she hold on, hold on. Let me say something, man. Don't think, don't think doesn't be on that, like, cutting up bodies and stuff when he raps. He be about some gangster shit when he raps. So when we started beefing, I wanted to see if he about what he rap about. So three times in a row, I had this bitch high for me. So he ain't even really rapping. So he don't deserve to rap because he not doing this shit. And I don't, I don't condone no rappers that ain't fucking like at least living some of what they rap about. So he a pussy. So he don't need to rap no more. And and I just I don't like I don't like any of the faggots that he raps with. So I'm just gonna air all them pussies out. All right. That's my opinion. I'm sorry. I get emotional. I'm sorry. Right quick. Hey, you're good, dog. Mm-hmm. For real. I don't give a fuck. I want to get to a motherfucker. I knows on that shit. Right? Hey, Nitty, are you paying attention? Or did you put the phone down again? I'm yeah. Probably, I'm, hey. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. I had to fuck with you, dog. I'm <laughs> curious. How much do you know about cult shit and that whole subgenre in the underground, I guess you would say? Excuse me? What did you say? Have you heard of cult shit and that whole movement down there in Wisconsin? Uh, no. I'll pay to hell. <laughs> That's, it's dark ass? Who's all that? Who's all that? What, 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 what's it about? I, I know dark ass. I know, I know yeah, dark yeah. ass. That's I'm a boy. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's cool. Yeah, I... That's, I, I that's the video. Yeah, yeah. The video that was done, man. That was yeah. at the beginning. It was uh, the dude that was in it, Bloody Ruckus. He's like, "Yo, this is Bloody Ruckus," and this bitch is about to get her fucking pinky cut off in the name of some cult shit, right? And then in the news articles, uh-huh. it instantly got flipped to where it wasn't about cult shit. It was. It was these motherfuckers are juggalos. Right. They're juggalos. They're juggalos. ICP. That's right. Man, nothing but that. I'm fucking lost, though, man. I got some right here. That's the only thing. I ain't cut my finger. I ain't cut my, I ain't cut my, uh, my, my, uh, my pinky off. I, I love my boy homeboy from Sacred Patty, but you know what I'm saying. I ain't cut my finger off. I don't hear a float. If I had six fingers, I'm not cutting one out of five. <laughs> Hell no. I'm just keeping six. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Not doing it. I'm not doing no crazy, no crazy shit like that. Nothing. That's just stupid. If I can't figure a shot of looking for you, that's it. That's about it. Same person cutting off their fingers would loan you $5. That's the craziest part right there. Hey, yo, you guys, I got to go. I got I got to tend tend to my my children. But uh, I love Uh, y'all, and uh, it's it's been a pleasure meeting y'all, and hope to have a uh, conversation again. Hell Do it yeah. again. I love you, too. Always right. welcome back. All right. I apologize for oh, my thank DJ you, buddy. so uncomfortable. He's just a jackass <laughs> like that. Whatever. <laughs> I, I'm not uncomfortable. I, it's hard to make me uncomfortable. Hey, just say you're Man, she kicks you with like those like she do. I've been keeping my cool, you know. Got that courtroom face all the time, baby. You mm-hmm. know? <laughs> Poke face. Oh, right. But, all right, y'all. Later on. Uh, Blacklist Crew, that's what's up. You can find that shit at NoFo Skill Radio and, and elsewhere. I'm pretty sure you can go type in Half Pine on Reverb and find that shit, man. I ain't positive. I got a lot of music a lot of places. Yeah. That's Holy fucking up. shit. What? Not for nothing. Yeah, sorry, I thought you were a guy. Man. What? Just when I thought the finger thing was bad, I'm scrolling through my Facebook and see two a juggalo and a juggalette holding a can of duster high as a fucking kite. Holy shit. This world is fucked up, man. Hey, man, that's some old school uh, shit when you break out the can of duster. I mean, for real. Man, that's oh. like, we, we, we been out of weed. We can't even do We just got to get high. What the fuck? Yeah. I have white. <laughs> Hey, yo, I'm getting off here, too, man. Yeah, dude, like she said, it was cool talking to all you guys, man. No, game, real quick. Yeah, man, I'm getting off here, too. I gotta uh, finish this album, dude. But, uh, yeah, I'm off on my fucking high. It is, oh, look, Whitey's too high. Kane's like, gotta go fucking catch up. Oh, I'm not too high. 
I just gotta get the CD mm-hmm. done, man. I'm, I'm coming out with a uh, Halloween CD, man. So I gotta be on my shit, man. All right, hey Whitey, fuck that. Go do that shit. Get that shit done, and then you know, hit back with us, dude. We'll do a little something, something for that shit. You know, we will. That's what's up. Cause no fucks given's got love for every motherfucker in this room and every motherfucker that fucks with us. That's what's up, for real. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, half pint. I, I appreciate that, man. Shout out to fucking Frank Nitty too, man. Shout out to Frank Nitty, man. Cause I've been fucking with y'all since a while, man. Grew up on y'all, so big shout Thanks, out to man. Him, man. Thanks. I'll, I'll definitely, uh, definitely catch y'all. Remember, I'll be at Saturday at the Ritz, man. So, I'll see y'all later, man. Hell yeah. All All right, right, man. Anybody listening needs to go catch one of the shows that have been listed because there's been a lot of shows listed during this show. <coughs> this is, uh, promo that shit. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. Um, the fuck note were we on, man? I'm kind of high. I'm saying bye to people. Yeah. Saying bye to people. All right, later, man. Oh, later, Kane, oh, yeah. dude. I, I already said later. I thought you exited. I don't. I don't oh know. no, you said Kane, and I thought you were about to say something. You never said nothing. <laughs> it's unknown. But all right, y'all, man. It was nice <laughs> talking with y'all. Hell yeah, night dog. Check this motherfucker's music out too, for real. Like I say, you can go to No Fucks Given, go to the interviews, and click the letter of whosoever's name you wanted because it's, it's alphabetical now. We had to break it down like that. Whether it's Kane or Project Born or fucking uh, Naked Whitey or whatever. And you can find the interview as well as their music all right there. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. <clears throat> but, uh, man, I have one more subject I wanted to broach on this particular evening. Oh, no, it was really just a finger incident. Yeah. Yeah. That was the last thing I really wanted to broach into. Actually, man, God, Frank. That situation, I seen a post by you and I went and read the article about a cop raping a chick in front of her kid and getting like three years probation, right? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I tell you, man, it's looking crazy, man. I thought I was like, well, I wouldn't care if it's a cop or not. I, I think it ain't about to say. It would have to say. I ain't with that. And like I said, man, I so the, much shit, man, it goes on, man. Just, that's that's right. the crazy thing. Too much I mean, shit. Yeah, I fucking look through everything we've discussed, and it's I, I'm to the point where I feel like it's motherfuckers trying to compile shit on top of shit to distract us from something that they don't want well, us to see. You know what? They, I think I think police now don't got it where they're just above the law. They're not going to be prosecuted so they do what they want to do and it's been proven because they they, they continue to keep doing shit and getting away with it they raping they killing you know what i'm saying and and and, and you don't see very rebel see them go to jail so what do you think they're going to keep doing they're not being punished okay i agree and to fuck them for that on a human level but to go back to a point that we made earlier on in this conversation frank um <clears throat> do you think perhaps that, you know, if those were the motherfuckers that were making an exorbitant amount of money for the job that they were doing, that then they wouldn't do it so poorly because they're like, oh, no, I make a million dollars a year, right? So I'm going to go out yeah. on my shit and do my shit right. Right, right. But you, can, you, but you can't play an uh, idiot more money. You can be more idiotic. Because if you hand more, they gonna want more. They want more, you know what I'm saying? They deserve more. But you think, like, they do dumb shit. They said they have really nothing to do with money. They just do dumb shit. It should take longer for training. Six months, you can be a cop. See, yeah, that's six a, months. I don't remember where I seen this, but it was, yeah, it takes six months to be a cop and, like, six fucking years to be a lawyer as far as to know the law to the point where you can go it's in and do that shit. Seven, seven years to be a lawyer. Uh, yeah. Seven years to be a lawyer you can go through law school and, and do, you got to do four years regular college and three years law school to be a lawyer. And, and you say, hell, you can, you know, it's just longer to become a hairdresser. Yeah. <laughs> now, I don't know, I don't know without looking, but I assume it takes longer to become a judge. You know what I'm saying? Or at least I would think so. Oh, Yeah. So but you gotta work. You gotta work farther. After you pass that bar, you become a lawyer. It's certain levels to the game for you to become a judge. You have to get nominated, you know, to get like Supreme Court justice. You know, so you, you got you get 
you had to run for those spots, and you know, you had you know, you get voted in or get get put in those spots by higher people. So you don't go in like I want to be a judge. You got to get to that. You got to work to get to that spot. Yeah, yeah, man. I I fucking get that, dude. I don't. I man, I just don't get why it is that we think with shit being like that, why it is we can train a cop in six months. I mean. To, to not, I don't know, man. It's not even that, dude. It's at a psychological human level. Because think about it. <clears throat> you know, if that cop that's becoming a cop has any kind of uh, racist or stereotypical fear or, or fear of whatever it is, dude, whether it's a race, a religion, you know, a certain type of person that looks a certain way as far as just their dress, whether it's, you know, in the form of, like, a motherfucker that looks like a terrorist or a motherfucker that looks like a thug or, like, what the fuck ever, and they have six months of training and then go out into that, then they're going to react like the fearful person they were because you haven't given them enough training to overcome that. You know, there's a reason SEALs go through right. what the fuck they do. All right. I think, I think they got, I, I don't, I mean, I'd be thinking that they, they, they use, uh, some kind of self defense classes where they can take a person down, you know, no matter the size. And I and the way I've seen it, some of these police be, it'd be three cops and be one guy, and they can't take them down to get them cuffed without doing without being excessive. It, it, it doesn't make sense. I'm like, if it's three of us and it, it's one and one one guy, he's going down quick. Hey, man, With the I three, think, you get the head. Yeah, I'd like to think me and you could cuff somebody fairly effectively. Frank, for real. I do. I don't think yeah. it's that goddamn hard. I mean, fuck. Mm -hmm. You know what? We are talking into it. Like, look, uh, we, gonna, we can do this the hard way or the easy way. As yeah. soon as you say, well, we can do this to prove everything, cover them, you know. That's it. Yeah. So, Mike, you, you being from New oh, York, I'm, I'm curious. Good. Like, what do you, because I know out in New York, dog, there's, there's all kinds of dumb bullshit that goes on. Like fucking who uh -huh. wants to lose? Who's this? Mm -hmm. Or did someone just call in? Yep. I don't know. That's Whatever. Somebody called in. Fuck it. No fucks given. I don't give a shit. There's somebody there. There's somebody not. I got a couple motherfuckers here, and that's what's up. Um, <laughs> but like, what's the craziest thing you've seen, dude? As far as in a police situation, you know what I'm saying? That when you see it, you were like, "What the fuck?" Um. Uh I don't know if you'll accept this as an answer because I could uh, I could say something else, but I'm going to go with 9/11, um, just because of the fact that uh, a point we were taught, the, the, the a point we bring up earlier was um, you know brainwashed patriotism. What you have to understand is after that day, <coughs> excuse me, um, after that day, I don't know about anywhere else, but in New York, every single person. <laughs> an American flag of some kind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's outside your house. It doesn't matter if it's in your room. It doesn't matter if it's on your truck. It doesn't matter if it's nothing. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that, that, that literally, uh, I, you know, I remember being like nine years old and being pulled out of school. I've obviously told you this before, but uh, that would have to be the craziest thing. Can I name other things? Absolutely, but that was... No, no, wait. See, see, Nitty, did you see how he took that question wrong? Ah, for real. Look, no, Mikey, I meant like, like on a fucked up level. I don't mean like a fucked up level of like, oh my God, that was crazy. Like, just in general, I mean, like, a fucked up level, like, that was crazy and fucked up and retarded, and why the fuck did that happen, and what is wrong with the people that did it, and, oh, my God, there need to be repercussions. Um, something out here recently happened when, uh, 50 Cent, everyone knows 50 Cent, he came out here, he came, um, to, uh, Brocco's on, uh, the Nautical Mile in Long Beach. All right, uh, it's like a chain of restaurants and stuff like that. He came out there for like a, um, like he came out with a new liquor or something like that. He was promoting it, and he had a show. And next thing you know, people are outside hitting each other. People are outside doing the whatever, and no one really understands still why it happened. 
You know what I mean? Mm. But uh, mm. that happened really recently. That happened about like two weeks ago. And mm. uh, no, 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 no. Uh, well, no, it was on Nautical Mile in Freeport. It wasn't in Long mm. Beach. It was in Freeport. Freeport, which is uh, one town away from where I am right now. Yeah. Wait, was right somebody now. just shot at him? Um, no, no one shot at him, but, uh, th there was a bunch of people outside, I think, uh, like, three or four people got arrested, uh, for whatever, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter why they got arrested, I don't know if they had knives on them or guns or whatever, but, uh, there was just, like, a bunch of fights, there was a bunch of noise, obviously, and, uh, that, that's the craziest thing I've seen recently, that, that's like, oh, well, why the fuck did that happen, and no one really has any answers, you know what I mean? Was it because 50 Cent was there? Was it because a lot of people turned out for it and there was just chaos? I mean, was it this? Was it that? No one really knows. You know what I mean? And that's usually what it comes out about. It's like, oh, yeah, I saw that on the news a little while ago. But once you see it on the news, more than likely, you're not going to see it again. You're not going to see an update on that shit. You know? Too much chaos in New York, huh? Oh, fuck yeah, man. <laughs> fuck yeah. No, the Mondrian. I don't know, man. Let's just ask, though, because the two gentlemen I got in the room right now, I'm curious, like, what city do you think is more violent, Flint or New York? Um, statistically? No. Oh, you say New York, Nitty? I, I am. I don't know. Because hey, statistically, you, it would probably be New York, but uh, if you I look... Said, hey, I'm going to smack him. I said Nitty. Is your no, go ahead. Nitty? No, go ahead. Is, no, I'm going to, like, yeah. like uh, the fucking... I, hey, Nitty, just let me fuck with him, man. It's what I do. I don't know let, why. Let, let, let my man go. He said, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> What's yeah, up, Mikey? Go. Yeah, what is statistically? All right, so basically what I'm saying is statistically... Um, if you're putting New York up against Flint, obviously New York would win, unless, you know, they had more murders in the past couple weeks or whatever. Like, if you look at that, you know what I mean? Like, a bunch of people got killed. Um, then statistically, like, their murders would be up in recent murders. But if you're, if you're literally relating just Flint, Michigan, um, not even, like, the surrounding areas of Flint, Michigan, obviously New York would win. Well, yeah, well obviously New York. If you were going to make I mean? a comparison like that, well, I don't mean numbers, though, dude. I mean stats. And when I say New York, I mean the city, not the state. Man, yeah. Let me clarify. Yeah, yeah you're, talking, you're talking about Manhattan, Manhattan Island and you're over the bridge and uh, Brooklyn, over the Barrens Now. You're talking about all that shit. Um,. I I I still believe New York would win. Uh, I mean, in 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 that perspective, but um, what you have to understand is uh, it's 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 pretty nuts out here. I mean, John Gotti just got arrested for um, a pill thing. He he had like a whole oxycodone distribution. Uh, he he was basically distributing a bunch of fucking oxycodone and everything like that. And that's that's how you know they were catching everybody when they caught John Gotti. And they found out that was going on like that. Like they're literally catching everyone out here. I'm surprised no one died because of that. Probably people did. They just didn't report it. You know? All right. So hey, crazy shit like that. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be honest. It depends on what city. You can look. You can, you can look at the stats. Now, if you, if you, now if you, you say all the people that got in New York, and you even out front with all the people that got in New York. Wouldn't be close in, in violent crime. It wouldn't be. We 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 blow you out the water in violent crime just for the simple fact that up here, here's how they fucked this whole city up. On top of the water being fucked up, they took in, they came in, they swiped all the jobs out. They said, you know, and that that's what the economy. So what does people do when you fuck up the economy? When ain't no money coming out, ain't no jobs coming. Mean, what they do? They rob. You got a lot of bullshit crime, and then one of get shot and killed over. Little shit. Just a motherfucker come up, jump in your car, probably give you one, two one to the chest, and chill out. Just stupid shit like that. It, 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 why is why is so violent here? And this is in this city, and that's the only the reason why they took all the shots out. We used to have man, Flint used to be booming. They took all the shots out. 
all the jobs. Then turn around and fuck up your water. They're going to be violent. That's true, man. I don't They're going to be violent. Yeah, I don't understand why they let that city die the way it did, man. Because, I mean, for real, there was a point in time yeah. where Michigan as a whole, dog, was fucking... This whole used to yeah. be a lot better than it is now, man. Yeah, we was the vehicle yeah. city. Yeah, you know. We had, we had, in Flint, it was so many shops, GM shops, man, it was fucking crazy. Like, you talk, when I first got here, it was a long time ago. Like, this city had it going on. This this city we in now, you, you just wouldn't recognize yeah. it. It's not the Flint that I, that I knew, that I that I thought so much of. Now, you know what I'm saying? It's it, it just not. We used, to be, used to be booming. You know, the shops were booming. You know, all the hustles was booming. You know, the money was circulating. You know what I'm saying? And then you take all that away and what you going to have? A bunch of hungry niggas. You know, just be frank about it. And then what they going to do? They going to rob. That's what they do. They rob, they hustle, they steal, they kill. I We've mean, been the top in violent crime. We've been the top, most violent city in America for like, check the last, check the, uh, the stats for like the last five years. I, mean, I think yeah, we've been in top like at least three years. Yeah, if you fucking take away everything to fucking you know make it to where you can live, I mean, fuck. What do you expect from the people besides violence? I think the problem is, and it goes back to what we were talking about earlier, is the fact that we've let it become, and it was because it used to be. Let me point that out. Is because it, at a point it was about race. That's just fucking true. In our country, there was a point where it was definitely defined by race more than anything else. But I think it's become a yeah. class thing and them trying to drive us against one another, both on a spirit, I mean, with religion and with race on all fucking levels. Because it's the only thing they see at this point besides trying to make us mindless fucking drones that's going to make their plan work, man. Because it's to fuck us all. Yeah. 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 You know, you, 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 as long as you can keep a, like, a blind eye to a lot of shit, they can fuck us over it constantly. And they will. And they're going to. And they have been. You see, it here has got the worst I think we ever been as far as racially for so, so this past year. This past 12 months. You know, and it, has, it all comes uh, off of uh, all these... Uh, this, this, this police kill it. And, and what us from, you know, from the black community perspective, our thought process when, I don't care, it, it, it could be the police kills unarmed black guy. First thing we register with is white folk. That's, that's, that, that's, that's the way we the thought process. But like I always try to explain it for a lot of people, I say, you know what? This ain't even a white and black thing. This is us against them, whether we look at it or not. That's, we talk about the government. And everything from the, from the police all the way up to judges to the president. You know what I'm saying? It's it's data and it's us. Oh yeah, and but you but, know, but but some but but what they yeah, Nitty, you know I'm waiting for the day you hear the door like burst down while I'm on the fucking air, and they're like, "Hey, you're under arrest," and I'm like, "Why?" They're like, "Because of your radio," and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> right. Right. Well, you know. Yeah. Because and and and, 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 and it all it's all it's all gonna break down, you know. What I'm saying the way whenever they try to keep put it where and and, and I, I'm gonna be honest, it, it's ignorance on both sides. It's, it's ignorant black folks, even white folks. And you know, one thing I hate when when a conversation comes up where it can't be a reasonable conversation without uh without sometimes racist stuff comes in or well if you guys would do this and be like well y'all motherfuckers you know it it can never get to where we have conversations on here like everybody has a point and you know whether I like it or not I ain't really like oh motherfucker this and it you know it, it don't get to that, that point it's you say your piece and I say well this is my perspective because we all got different perspectives because we don't go through it the same way you know what I'm saying and I always try to tell people like you know I get on there I be on some forums you know and then you know I be on there you know probably predominantly you know white forums and we be talking and, and, I, and I just tell them up front this is the way I feel I'm like if you ain't never lived in a black man's shoes Coming through America, then there's, you can't tell us what to be mad about and what not to be. Because if you had to go through it, like some of the things that I've been through and I have seen and watched, <laughs> the police do, I've seen them over set, the plant shit, everything. And you think we're supposed to trust these motherfuckers? 
<laughs> they did me. I know for a fact. I know firsthand because they did me myself. What was it? I'm, uh, just because I had some money in my pocket, he, then the motherfucker say, well, he had some drugs in his car. What the fuck is it? Then they like, he had four bags of weed up under the console. I told the motherfucker, we a damn lie. I don't even sell weed. I sell cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> Uh, that was about 10 years ago. <laughs> that was about 10, 12 years ago, my day. Oh, shit. How are you lying? Oh, I don't shit. sell weed. I sell cocaine. Oh, that's <laughs> well, priceless, dog. Just, they took the wrong drug. That's crazy. But, but, but you know what? It, 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 but that's just the way that shit go, man. you like, how the fuck are we supposed to trust these motherfuckers, man? These are people who protect the serve. But then you'll pull some shit like that. And then you then, you, then everybody starts telling me you trust them. Do what they tell you to do and they won't do this. Now it's going to be a problem no matter what because I see they're not for me already. Because you wouldn't do that shit. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I mean, that's my perspective, you know, because I'd have some oh. bad, you know, we'd have some, I'd have some bad, bad hookups with them motherfuckers, man. So I don't, I don't trust them. Now, you know, but they don't have, they don't have me no, no dislike for no, you know, for white people at all. I had a lot of white friends, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Real friends, you know what I'm saying? That come to my house to stay the night, like shit like that. I don't, you know, I, I deal with ignorant, I don't deal with ignorant motherfuckers. If you're an ignorant motherfucker, I don't give a fuck you white, purple, green, bro. I don't fuck with you, period. I got motherfuckers I've been dealing with, I've been knowing forever that I don't fuck with on a daily basis. Now, I have motherfuckers like, man, come to the crib, white people, come to the crib and stay the night and just, you know what I'm saying? People I had just met in the last few years. And have them come to the crib just because that's just how it is. I am. If you're cool, I fuck with you. If you're not, I don't fuck with you. I don't care what color you are. Don't matter to me. See, and I'll tell you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, I'll tell you. As far as with cops and race, I, I know there have been like probably two to three occasions in my life to where if I wasn't white, nitty, dude, if I wouldn't have been white, I'd have been in way more goddamn trouble. I, I mean, yeah, but same right. shit with me. Yeah, like, like keep it a hundred for real. <laughs> Fucking, I, but I, cause I had this, uh, you know, I was going to get a little something, something, man, cause I like my smoke, you know, whatever. Fuck off if you don't. That's the truth. Um, and I was, dude, this chick was taking forever. I don't know what the deal was, but she was taking forever, dog. And I already gave her my cash. She was mm-hmm. supposed to run again and all this, blah, blah, blah. And I knew her. She was cool. But then this cop came mm-hmm. up, man, and he's, like, running all my shit. And he's like, let me see your arm real quick. And fucking cuff, <laughs> right? Right off the bat. He gets me out the car, and he's all searching for shit. And look, I I like knives, and I don't carry a gun, but I might carry a couple really mean things in my car. But they're all legal, and you can fuck off because they're legal. So, right. like, you know, whatever. I can carry whatever the fuck I want. I live in America, right? Sorry, I don't like guns. That's just the truth. So the cop was kind of suspicious about that. And dude, he he just kind of knew that I was there for what I was there for. Had me in cuffs and sent me on this curb that was like two inches off the goddamn ground, asshole. I'm 6'2". You know how much of a bitch that was, Nitty? Oh my God. Fucking asshole. And the dude, I'm telling you, is shaking my pants, like, furiously, like, right by my dick, dude, like, he's trying to beat me off. I swear to God, because he's so, he's so, like, this motherfucker's got something. He's, like, got it tucked somewhere or something or, or something. He's got something. And I'm like, dude, I ain't got shit. Will you just, like, mm-hmm. leave, motherfucker, like, like, goddamn. Yeah. And that was one of them situations, mm-hmm. dude. It was, like... Yeah. Had I been black, I I don't know how that would have went, but I got a feeling it would have went different because that motherfucker was pissed at hell as me already, dog. He was he was like he wanted to take me to jail. It was his fucking goal in life at that particular moment. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking terrible. I swear, I've never had a cop yeah. try to jack me off before though, but that was interesting. You know, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? They do that shit, man. They, 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 like if you don't know your rights, then they're dead poor, or whatever. And when they figure out you know your rights, and you and you and you start to use it on them, then the motherfuckers they they start to back off some sometimes. Most time they're violating, but you know I'd be like, shit, you can violate them if you want to, but if you do, then I don't matter what you look at or if you find something in my car that's not right, 
then you're fucked. You can't use it in court because you're not violating my rights. You got it illegally. It's thrown out. You have no case. So, fuck. Hey, you damn if you do, damn if you don't. So I'm like, you know, do it, do it how y'all want to. You know, but I, I, you know, this is the thing. I guess the thing is more than anything. When people, like, you know, and that's what I see to be the problem. They go up and they be a young black guy walking and they just go fucking with him. Like, out the blue. Okay? This motherfucker got rights. You can't just go grab this motherfucker, search him on the motherfucker, you know, you know, whatever. You know, whether he's up to something or he's not. Hell, he can't, I don't give a fuck if he's white or, 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 or Japan or from where, Japan, whatever. You can't just go over there fucking with these damn people for no damn reason. Quit doing, the police get their stuff and shit just doing that, violating all your rights. See, they yeah, do that all the time. Yeah, it's happened a lot with Arabics and shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you look like you're Man, fucking yeah, Muslim, yeah. You're getting fucked with. And, yeah, dude, it's, <coughs> it's I, that's what I think is weird, dude, is, like, motherfuckers don't understand. Look, they're evil motherfuckers of every single race that exists. It's probably about the same percentage for every race, too, to be real honest. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, you don't think so? <laughs> You think there's a higher... No, let me, let me just say this. Right? What? Because yeah. uh, you're talking about the cops screwing with, with, with uh, predominantly, you know, black black males and shit, right? Like, that's 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 what I'm picking up. But anyway, um, it doesn't matter. Like, they could literally see you doing something or something like that. And what they love to do is they love to pull you over, pretend like they didn't see you, especially black people. You know, not sure. to sound racist, not to say anything. It's the truth, right? All sure. that shit. With all that said, let me say this. What they love to do, and this is how they fuck with you, they'll see you doing something. They yeah. won't tell you they saw you doing something. They'll tell you they got a call. Yeah. Right? And then yeah. they'll start fucking. Oh, I've been told that. I've had that yeah. happen to me a couple times, and i got to tell you, if I was black, I wouldn't have got away with that. Remember I told you I burned down that building like 10 years ago? Seriously. <laughs> you remember I told you that? Like that, that, and I wouldn't have got away with that. I got away with that. No probation, no anything. Because I really didn't do it, but Dang. I still That's had fine. those charges on me. That's Young nice. age. You know what I mean? And I just had a good lawyer. That's, That's it. Yeah, because I had a good lawyer. lawyer. And a pyro uh, good, yeah. Mind. Setting shit on fire. Yeah, but, you know, but even when you get up there, even when you defend the judges, man, it's a dip. Just like one day, man, when y'all just got time, y'all just ain't doing nothing. Go to court, go in the courtroom, and just sit there and watch all the cases come up and come and go, and just and, and, and watch, just watch. Look at the look at look at the uh, the uh, the sentences on on, on 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 different races, and just sit, and just sit in the back of the courtroom and just watch. You just be sitting there and be like, man, the same cases. It came out two, two, two people ago, come back, and it's going to be a different race, and it's going to be a, it's be a different result. Oh, my God. Nitty. Right. That's Nitty. exactly right. That's what I'm talking that's, about. That's why pedophiles usually don't get as much time, because they're usually white. Man. Holy fuck. Yeah, I just yeah, fucking right. saw the I, They still all need to die, though. Right. Did Sorry, you see but, the, Did you see my yeah. man who just got that three months? For, uh, uh, for, uh, I think he was, um, he, he was raving the girl, the girl, I guess he had got drunk or, or she was out and he was raving and two of them came by and got him off of him. And he went to court and I think he ended up doing, they gave him like six months in jail for it. And it was like a totally, just totally just straight raving and raving the woman. And he got like, six months in jail and he got out in three. I'm like, three? Three months? For right? And then maybe a year. Three probation. months? Right. But, and, and, and then, uh, what about my man, the subway guy? Who, he did, uh, he, he ended up was doing it, uh, the child porn, the, he was, uh, had a bunch of child pornography. Yeah, traveling around the world yeah. to do it too. <laughs> right, getting paid, getting paid. Oh, I, right, but he's getting mad money. He making good money, but then you think, how much? How much time do you end up getting out of it? He got what about a year, year or something. Uh, um, he, what, did, what did Jared Fogle get, babe? Do you remember? Like it was 
15 or less years. Yeah, it was like 15. Well, it was like it was, 14 years. It was like 14 ago. years, man. But, I mean, if he works his way out. Now, he, got, he, got, he got way less. I'm going to look it up again. He got way less than that. Nah, here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, he works I'll, out till he'll be out in like hey, Google or it. something. Because I'm like, dude, he I'm like, he just was straight. He was targeting young kids. If you target young kids, and you you know you target young kids, you know three, four, five years, young young babies, and you you trying to get them to fuck or you want to watch them fuck or anything stupid like that, nigga, that's just straight stupid retarded sickness. You need your ass shot. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. See. You need your ass shot, man. And that's what I understand. I can't see. I don't. What the fuck can a two or three, four year old motherfucker do for me? Just think yeah. about that. Hey Amen. What the uh, hell can they do for me? Uh, see, the, see. The, the, the thought of it is sickening. You know what I'm saying? The thought of it is sickening. Like, I, uh, how the fuck do motherfuckers even think of that? He it just doesn't make sense. How does it usually get four old year old like, hey, she got some ass or something? That four? Hey, come on. Hey, Nitty. What the mm. fuck? Why the hell? Oh, damn it. That was confusing. Sorry if y'all can hear that. Um, fucking, I looking that up, it brought up an ad that really fucked with me. He actually did get 15 years, dog. Um, for, yeah. 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 That's because he admitted to it. But. He'll be out in the eight on probation know, or whatever, I man. Even, but you have. I don't, and I don't even give a oh, Hold on. Let me, let me just say this in response to all of that, right? Here's the thing, is a guy serves three months for that, and he'll do maybe a year, year and a half, two years, maybe even three years probation. What you have to understand, bro, is that guy should be in jail getting ass raped every day for those right. three years. Three months, they won't touch him, bro. Protective custody or whatever, a, certain, a, a completely different part of the jail or whatever, he's not. It, uh, nah. He can go to a hardcore right. prison for three months. They can't touch him. See, right. He goes on the yard, he's in a little cage and shit. They have to protect people like yeah. that, man. No. But when they yeah, get yeah, out, get they go to door to door, and they got to tell everyone, they got to register as a sex offender, they got all that. You got to remember that, too. Because if they are convicted, that's yeah. what they got to do. People yeah. can't trick or treat at the fucking house, homie, by law. Well, that's fine if fucking I mean, Danny. Yeah. That's fine if fucking Danny, dog. But look. Well, they, my, this, this what I, oh, go ahead, Diddy. Uh, go ahead, you go ahead, and I oh, do well, that to you. My problem with it is, dude, is like, look, my cousin got 15 years. That's what he got. And it was a conspiracy to distribute meth, right? That's what he got, though, All 15 right. years. Mm -hmm. He got the same charge, like the same amount as Jared Fogle. My cousin was working the fucking, um, oh, God, now my word... The word escapes my fucking brain. He was giving people um, what they wanted. It was it was a corporate. He was working a corporate system, right? Yeah, supply and demand. Know. He was working a system of supply mm -hmm. and demand, which is what America is based on. In because the motherfuckers wanted it, he gave it to him, right? This cock smoker, mm -hmm. right? This 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 piece of shit took children and destroyed their lives. Did something yeah. to them that will right. that will fuck them up permanently. And you're telling me that they're the same level of evil? They're the same level of fucked up? I <clears throat> do not agree. That's my Here's where they get you, bro. Oh. Here's where they get you is the amount. It's all about the amount. Like, if you got 100 e-pills, bro, that's attempted murder. You could kill someone with 100 mm. e-pills. You know what I mean? That's the way it mm -hmm. is. That's how they get you. Oh, this guy had 15 pounds. Oh, this guy had a gram. This guy gets whatever, which is still, you mm -hmm. know. But it's one of those things, man. Yeah. See, you know, Especially if it's a conspiracy. This is broken, man. Nitty, man, I'm curious, because you live in a legal state, right? As far as you can get medical legal? marijuana. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah, dispensaries, yeah. So, what's your whole opinion of that? And, um, I mean... I mean, I'm not no smoker like that, you know what I'm saying? So, to each his own. Marijuana, I don't think, is one of the most legal drugs out, you know. Um, to each his own, I, you know. Uh, 
they got they got these fences around here and these uh thing called um um uh, these other kind of centers, they like dispensary, but you know, use like a uh a, a weeds uh weed swap meat and shit. <laughs> sit up there, it's like a you know what I'm saying? You sit up there, but you go there and sell your weed, you know, if you got a car, you go in there and sell your weed, you know, put it out, you know, grow it and sell it. You know, just like a you know, like a dispensary, but they're like a swap meat. And and uh I mean, to me I don't they can tax it and make money off of it, so you know, it's it is what it is, you know. I don't I'm not I don't really too much have a pain on it. It's cool if you smoke, if you oh. don't, you know, I am just not a smoker like that. Okay, well, let me ask it on two different levels then. Um, one, as far as on a medical level, man, I mean, because you've seen those things where it seriously help kids with seizures and shit, right? And they're making it to where it's just the cannabinoids. It's not even the uh, mm. part that'll get you high. They remove the THC from what they give these children. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, that, mm. I'm uh, curious uh, your for, opinion of that. Pills? Uh, no, no, no. It's an oil, man. CBD oil. It's a CBD yeah. oil. You know what I'm talking about? Hmm. No, no. Yeah, it's a uh, oil, man. Oh, yeah. it, it actually will help stop seizures. Like it's been proven, um, and it's just it doesn't have THC in it, so it doesn't get you high at mm. all. It's just purely a medicine. Um, and then the mm. other thing I'm curious about, as far as what it would do for the economy, man, especially if it was just uh, legalized at a uh, fuck a recreational level. You know what I'm saying? Like it is in Colorado. Do you think that could be something that would be beneficial for the city of or for the state of Michigan? Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> oh no! I don't know, man. I guess Michigan right now is fishing for uh for income. So I think you know, like you know, you can get a car from me. You can get a, you can probably get a medical marijuana car from anywhere, man. You go to any doctor down there and get a medical marijuana car. You got a hundred and fifty dollars. She, you can get one. So, yeah. you know, it's I've crazy. But you know what? They just passed a law that if you get a miracle marijuana, marijuana card, you can't get a gun license. And they didn't have yeah. steel barrels. I've seen that. So well. I'm like, damn. You went down to your local store. That's, you would have that's to a toss-up, man. That's really a toss-up. That's, yeah, yeah, that's like fucked a, up, too, man. Like, what about smoking weed makes it to where you can't use a gun? I don't quite get that one. Because like, your function, you know, your, your function, it's like you're being on drugs. It's like, you know, hey, now weed does get you high, right? No, hey, look, so, so, Nitty, like, Nitty, Nitty, here, check this, all right? Check this and just riddle me this shit, all right? So, you get a medical weed car, and you fucking, you can't get a gun license, right? But you got a gun license, you can go buy a fucking bottle of fucking Crown Royal or Jack Daniels or fucking any kind of like whatever the rum mm-hmm. tequila, I don't give a fuck. Get your ass lit, right? To where you can hardly see straight and then go fuck around with your gun. Come on, man. Which one makes yeah, but, sense? But, but, but you know what? But you know what? I think I think it's a law with that too. Actually, um, I know you can't you can't be in bars. You can you can't. I don't think you, you can take. I don't care if you register. You can't bring them in bars and stuff like that. Um. So I believe, I believe, I think, I don't, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm about mo- mostly sure that it's probably if you're called driving drunk, you know, it was already a fence, which I don't believe they, uh, you can really have the gun of possession while you're drunk because they don't allow it to come in no bars because they don't like the mixture of alcohol and firearms. You know what I'm saying? I would so, hope not. I, I think that's, they don't, you can't take them in no bars, uh, you know, shit like that. Which makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Man, you know, y'all, this is this is mm-hmm. man, this has been some good shit. I have enjoyed the fuck mm-hmm. out of this. And I appreciate everyone yep. that has called in. Like Mikey, Nitty, hell yeah. Mad love, mm-hmm. for real. But man, it's like eleven o'clock. <laughs> I'll go. Uh... Mind you, good luck with y'all later, then, man. Yeah, them, them mornings is a bitch. Y'all stay up. Yeah. Hey, Nitty. Nitty, check it uh-huh. out, dog. This What's shit up, right man? here? This shit right here? Oh, it's going to be in every Wednesday uh-huh. event. We're going to try and have a couple different topics. <clears throat> a couple different uh-huh. motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And you know you're always welcome, dog. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, you already know. I'm, I, I like I like to discuss uh, a lot of shit. I like to get get, get a lot of people's point because sometimes you know it makes me makes me think a little deeper and more in depth with, with a lot of shit. Because you know I, I get it from a certain point, and then when I hear somebody else's point, I start to think about it later on. Like you know that kind of makes a lot of sense. You know it kind of gives me a different perspective or a different angle I can look at things and be able to you know adjust. You know so that's what I like. I like. Like talking, you we know, don't have a good reason for discussion. We ain't all cussing and fluffing each other for what we believe, you know. Yeah, yeah, man. See, that's what it's motherfucking about, dog. That's why I, I, I'd, I'd come to the conclusion I'd had this happen just spontaneously a couple times, Nitty, to where I just had a bunch of artists talking, and I was like, hey. I really like that shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, hell right. yeah. Hell yeah. It's been dope, dude. It has. Mikey. Uh, up? Are you alive? I'm alive, bro. Very much so. I, I told if Mikey. not, I wouldn't be on No Fucks Given. Radio.com. I, n- Nitty, I love this guy. I do. I do. I love this guy. I love. I'm sorry I fuck with you, Mikey. So what? It's no, just, don't worry about it, man. I want you to stab me in the... Nice. Oh, at least there were... Squatty or them. some kind of uh-huh. sponsor, bro. Nice. Uh-huh. For real, man, like, I want to get, like, clips for sale as a sponsor and be like, okay, clips for sale, blah, 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 videos of girls doing weird shit, no fucks given radio, unknown factor. You have to stab me for the porno movies, and you better do it. <laughs> yeah, you better do it. I mean, you better man, do it. Look, if it's bro. if it's some shit like that, for real, fuck it. But I'm down. But here's here's uh, the twist. Here's the twist. Is we got to give you like a toothbrush or something, and you have ten minutes, and whatever you come up with, you got to stab me. That I don't. Care. Hello. Until like a nice pointy motherfucker, let it dry for like a minute. Take like nine minutes to do that. Stab me with that shit. It don't matter. Hey, man. Ten minutes, bro. Look, look, no. Hey, man. Minutes. You don't know how much you I gotta... like. No, dude, One. that, dude, like, I mean, fuck it, Mike. Like, how much money are we talking here, Mikey? And, like, where am I stopping? Oh, we're, uh, we're, we're, like, we're talking a deal. We're talking a deal. Like, we're the radio show that can plug that. Nitty. Like, Howard Stern his... plugs that. Dude, why does he want That's me to big... stab him? Like, and he thinks I can't make something fairly effective in ten minutes. He doesn't know me. No, no, no. That's that's what I'm saying. Ten minutes, bro. But you have legit ten minutes. Not no ten minutes and a half. Not no nine minutes. Not no anything. Time you ten minutes on the air, and I'll just talk while unknown factors making this thing you stab me with to have a porn site as our radio show as our radio show sponsor. Yes, bro. Stab me. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Just don't break it off in me like a dick or anything like that. Because who knows, after for 10 minutes, he could make something that sucks, grab a pen, and just stab me. You know what yeah. I mean? It doesn't matter. I have to get stabbed. I, <laughs> I, I have to get I stabbed. It doesn't matter. The pen is mightier than the sword. In certain situations, you know, it can be. Because it's got that short range. No, I, I, yeah, it can like be. that long range of I don't a sword, get... sometimes it's just not good for any close. I'm just saying. <laughs> I just don't give a fuck. No fucks given. Radio.com. Oh, shit. Hell. We're going to get off the air. Because I'm full of shit. All right, man. I hear it all right now, man. You know, you know I'll never shut up, right, Nitty? It, it's like my wife hates it. She's like, she's like, I'm going to fucking kill him. You think she'll kill me, Nitty? No, I don't think so. Yeah. We're not going to test it tonight, ladies and gentlemen. For real. That's no BS. Yeah. By Project Born. That's what's up. Featuring Small's one. Have a good night, y'all. That shit fresh as fuck. We don't want no, 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 we don't want no bullshit around us, no bullshit around us, no bullshit around us, no bullshit around us.